Too sharp. This is the on time podcast. Mm, mm. H3 baby TV on time. You're in trouble. That crypto. Keemstar, shut up. Coconut, 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 Wow. On time, baby. It's off the rails. What a masterpiece, Zach. Sponsored by Harry's Razors. Welcome to the subscribe, like and subscribe podcast. That's right. That's right. Smash that like button. Where you've got to smash that subscribe button. Likes I care less about. Mm-hmm. They do Don't you think the likes help? Yes. Didn't we I'm still on the fence with the likes helping. I feel like we figured that out in summer. I forgot what we were watching, and you were surprised. There was a YouTuber, uh, a YouTube Insider video where they're like, right. "If you dislike, we'll show you less." Right. And that blew my mind. You didn't say anything about like, but anyway, like you know. Smash that like button. Yeah. yeah. You know, Thank where you, it's Gary. a new thing. We're beg. I'm begging you. I'm on my knees. What do I have to do? I'm on time. I mean, for Christ's sake, subscribe, <laughs> like. We're here doing the bare minimum, I've people. done every... Hey, <laughs> come on now. What do I have to do? Hey, I'll tell you what. You go ahead and like that button, and I won't come to your house. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. It's too early. I tell you what. Maybe you hit that subscribe button. I'll look the other way on you. A little... Do something for me, and I'll do a little something for you. Your little baby sister been looking nice lately. It'd be a shame if something happened to her. That's what I do. So hit that like button or nothing bad happened. You know what I'm saying? Not a threat. Just a fact. Bad things happen to people all the time. People get hit by cars. People fall on train tracks. It happens. The bottom line is you cannot be trusted. So unless you want something, you know, I'm just saying, something bad might happen. I've been in jail. I know what it's like. You think I'm scared of that? Come on. Come on. Gabish. Talk to me nicely. All right, what do we got here at the top? We got a lot to talk about today. So much. We got too much. So let me ask you guys. You actually put this in the document, huh? This tiny little image. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we also put and you know I can't click it, right? Well mm. the the link is in the dock as well, right next to it. But I okay, but right, like the image is not that useful. Well I just wanted to demonstrate a little something. So this guy is my guy. I love this guy. He's doing like flirty F boy. You guys love this, right? We're confused. We were very confused. Yeah, we why? weren't. We weren't sure why you sent it. Like, what? What was the appeal? You don't like it. <laughs> Let's watch it first. All right, here. <laughs> I see Dan laughing. Well, I'm laughing because I can't. We were all a little baffled that you sent this. Really? A little bit. What are you confused about? <laughs> it's just... Well, I thought you sent it because the cringe. It's not cringe. It's awesome. <laughs> and that's why I included the screenshot, too. He's doing like a F boy, like, what's up, baby? How you doing? I get it. I get it. And the lip syncing to cartoon sounds, it's genius. It's super funny. I can't believe you guys have been such haters, bro. <laughs> Look at the top comment. Drink when he flirts. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah. It's funny. I hope archaeologists find this after society has crumbled. I mean, it has 4 million likes, so that, I mean, clearly I'm not alone in finding this funny. Oh, I don't think you're alone. I don't think you're alone. So let me tell you, your guys' taste is too refined. You guys are too <laughs> comedically aligned to find the humor in this. Is that what you're saying? I found humor in it. The humor was that you were sharing these boomer memes with us in the chat. This isn't a boomer meme. This is a this is a zoomer meme. A boomer wouldn't even know what this was referencing. <laughs> I mean, they, the wouldn't, they wouldn't even get the joke. Love Love is our resident zoomer and he he was one of the primary haters, I got to say. And you know he's your biggest fan. Well, maybe AB is. I don't know. He's I got to say, I think you guys are being snobs. No. H3 a little bit. H3 humor. <laughs> 
Let's take a poll right out the gate. Is okay. this funny or no? I think it's great. And I think y'all are being, a, I'm surprised you guys are being haters right now. I I'm seeing, it, I'm interested in the poll too because I'm seeing very mixed reactions in the in the chat. It's like half the audience seems to be. I don't know. When I board. saw it, I immediately was like, this is, this is genius. This is hilarious. We need to make it clear though. Is it funny because it's like kind of cringe it, or is it funny because he's making noises with his mouth? mouth or? Why would that be funny that he's making noises with his mouth? Is it a good, dude, is it good or not? I mean, you guys really being so haters? I thought it was comedy gold, personally. I thought Thank it was you. See, amazing. Cam, yeah. And Cam, he worked on For Adult Swim. This man knows comedy. He knows who are you, AB? <laughs> what exactly why, why are your credentials? I, I wasn't the one who brought it up. No, I see you nodding over there in agreement with Dan. <laughs> <laughs> who are what you to judge? It, it just caused confusion. Some it's pre, not confusing. Some of, us, yeah. some of us thought maybe you thought he was like making those noises with his mouth. <laughs> Who thought that? I didn't think that. Zach, thought, thought, that? Zach thought that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, well, that's not surprising. The I, what's did the I poll? I'm that. kidding. Zach, poll, I, think poll, that. I, I want to make sure I word the poll correctly because everybody is gets so mad. Is it funny? Is the TikTok is, funny? Is it's it, not rocket science. Is yes or no? TikTok funny. Yes. No. Ask the community. This guy's got a bunch of classics. Y'all are fucking haters on See, a new I, level. The yes and... Because I find it funny... But it's None sort of like, of it's a meta funny. So. It's funny because you shared it. It's funny. Here. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 60% said yes. So y'all can just take right. the L. Fair enough. Take the L. Oh, wait. The four, the, it's growing, though. No, it's growing. This one's not doing it for you guys, eh? Really not funny. It's a, it's a, it's a parody of these, of these f boys who just. Yeah, I, I, I feel that. I get that. Like it's so funny. It's so funny, and it's original. Stop laughing. It's not funny. It is funny. I love when he uses that. Also, he's so good at it. He like nails it. You know how hard that is. Like, do you know how hard that is, Dan? No, I, I don't know how hard that is. That's true. Some of them are really complex. I gotta find. Like here, this one has 19. Is this the one I we watched? Yeah. yeah. It's so hard to lip sync, and he's doing it to cartoon sounds. Like y'all, literally, have no respect for art. <laughs> I I think it's funny. Okay, Zach's coming around. Cameron's coming around. It's funny. It's not the funniest thing, but it's funny. It's humorous. I didn't say it's the funniest thing. When did I come out here saying this is the funniest I, thing I, ever made? I, I, I when did I say that? I, you didn't. So I know who the haters are. It's obviously A, B, Ian, and Dan. No surprise. And wait, I didn't just say anything. Yeah, but he said there was confusion in the office. If Zach and Cam like it, who's left? Who's left? Speak up, haters. <laughs> I wasn't consulted about this. You were what are you afraid of, Ian? Well, you're being consulted now. What do you think? Ian, thoughts? Yeah, you were consulted. We said thoughts. Ian, thoughts? I mean, I don't... I don't think it's like super funny, but I think it's a thing that makes me go like, huh. Interesting. And, and, and for that, that, there's value in it. Exact. Thank you. See, that, that's at least like, it is interesting. It's, why the hell can I find, I thought he had them pinned. Do you not see pinned ones on the? Uh, maybe not on desktop. Nah, it doesn't work on desktop. Ugh, that's. Yeah. Oh, they're desktop. Because his other, oh. let's, cause let's be honest, his other ones have like 400 views. They're just total flops. So, because he's got the ones where he does the cartoon uh, voices, and they have like a hundred billion views, and then his other ones have like five views, and that just shows the genius, doesn't it, folks? What's a video that lives? So it looks like we're winding up. It, do it hasn't moved in a while. We're at fifty-eight percent to forty-two percent. So it's a it's a little divisive, but the yeses have it. Here. <laughs> Come on, that's that's funny. <laughs> I'm laughing. Dude, it's so ridiculous. How's this a boomer meme? You guys are, you guys are wrong. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm glad that at least 58% of you stand with me. Stand with me. I'm being invaded by the hostile powers of Dan, A.B. Or, <laughs> and Dan and A.B. is the only ones left. Okay, Boomer. It's just Dan. Dan was the only one. Nobody else confused. No, no, what? 
Yo. But everyone else was like, it's interesting, it's funny. Because they're pussy. So, so they were they talking put confusion. mad they fucking confusion shit before you head. got here, dude. See, that's mad what shit. That's what I'm saying. Speak up, no. haters. I didn't. I didn't speak on this at all. You fucking little. You Weasley little liar, dude. Weasley little liar, dude. Holy shit. Just speak your mind, baby. <laughs> also, everybody in the chat letting us letting us know about Ethan's hat. We have eyeballs. We we see that. His I, eye, oh yeah. We, we so know. I'm we like know. all keyed out. So yeah. I don't know why I didn't. Re I'm, I have a lot of clothes that I can't wear because of the green screen. And today I was just I felt good. I had like a fresh fit on. And you, he walked in, and I was like, uh, you are wearing a, an entirely green outfit, my man. And he's like, I sure am. I was like, yeah, baby. <laughs> Tip up. I'm all matching. Do you see it? Does it bother you guys, the hat? Because I can take off if it's annoying to look at. But my hair is even crazier. <laughs> I can that. grab your hat if you want. Look at that mop. What? You want a hat? A black hat? What do you think? Hair or hat? Hair. Got hair. your hat. Hair. Hair. Love is, love is hair. I love the hair. Thank you. Thank you, love. Got your fucking hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next story is so good. I mean, I couldn't even believe it. Estee Lauder fires a senior executive for an offensive Instagram post that's so offensive and so confusing and so mind-bending. I can't even imagine how this ended up on the Internet. And this guy was making $10 million per year, right? For 30 years, he had been with the company. 30-year career ended over wow. this. Wow. $10 yes. million. Can you imagine you're making $10 million a year to be an executive? You know what an executive does? Nothing. <laughs> that's the cushiest job in the world. <laughs> Holy crap. So Estee Lauder, a uh, makeup company, fired one of their senior executives, John Dempsey, for an offensive Instagram post. Here it is, guys. Can we, sh we can show this, right? It's all, yeah. Can we show this? I think so. It's censored in the meme. So he straight up posted this. Wait, let me show a picture of the guy because this actually makes it funnier. Uh, John Dempsey. So here's the guy. <laughs> You know, put together, professional, the guy's crushing it, $10 million a year, sitting on top of the world, right? Yeah. Okay, well, here's what happened. He posted this to Instagram. <laughs> it's Big Bird with a mask and Snuffleupagus in bed, sick. My N-word, Snuffy, done got the Rona at a Chingy concert. <laughs> Why did he do this? Uh, well, his explanation makes no sense, too, so... Here's a statement. Now, you guys, I didn't know what Chingy meant. What is Chingy? Chingy's a rapper. He was popular, like, 2004. Yeah. So why, why is it funny that he got it at a Chingy concert? <laughs> the fact that it says Chingy concert makes it ten times more bizarre and ten times more funny for some reason. It's just odd. That it's would be, so yeah. odd. It's just odd. Odd. So here is his uh, apology. Um, I am terribly sorry and deeply ashamed. I hurt so many people when I made the horrible mistake of carelessly reposting a R-word meme without reading it beforehand. What is there to read, bro? It's literally just you. <laughs> do you usually just post stuff like that fast? It's like he went, oh, post. Okay. Like, if you don't read it, what's the joke? I still, it's just a, like, weird, random. Uh, without reading it, there are not enough words to express my sorrow and remorse. Not only did I hurt many people whom I respect, the terrible mistake that I made is underlying everything I've been working for my 31 years career. The meme is the furthest thing from what I stand for, and I should never have reposted it. Why did you? What did you think it was? I'm so sorry that I let down the company that I've dedicated my life to. I hope that in time people will judge me not for this awful mistake, but my lifetime of words and actions which demonstrate my respect for all people. I kind of feel bad for him, to be honest, reading that. It's like, I don't know what he was thinking posting that, but he's like, how do you ruin your whole life well, with one you, dumb meme? How do you try and pass it off that you, you didn't, I mean, there's, there's like eight words on the meme. Like, it's the entirety of the meme. So how did he not read it? I'm still confused by the whole thing. Yeah. Like, uh, I guess I did something to piss off the Instagram god. <laughs> How do you go home to your family and tell them you lost your job over a chingy meme? 
Do you think he should be fired for this? I think he got t set. He got put on leave. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe. When you're the executive of like this this Estee Lauder uh, company, I looked them up earlier. You know, they're they're huge, like huge, huge company. Uh, yeah, I mean, their stock is currently trading at two hundred ninety one dollars a share. Did he dip it with the snuffy film? Uh, <laughs> That's a good question, <laughs> actually. Let me look. You cost well, us a billion dollars. They're dude. up. They're up two percent today. Uh, so, yeah, it was a good day on the stock market. Though. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, if you're like. You do need to represent your giant company a little bit better than that, I think. I'm just going to be shit posting. What do you guys think? Let's take a Instagram. vote. Should he be fired? Yes or no? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll put it to a vote. Let's I'm see. actually curious what y'all think uh, about should this. Should he have been fired over the Chingy meme? Yes or no? That's Clap if he should suffer. <laughs> Clap if he should suffer. <laughs> Should he die? Clap if he should die. Ooh. So that's what I thought the Chingy thing was like a anti-Asian thing. And then it made sense. Like, no. then it was really bad. He's no, like, what? So, I don't think so. Well, that was my first so, take because yeah. I, I didn't know who Chingy was. And I was like, oh, well, that's horrible. No, it's a very old rapper. The last time I've seen him was in an episode of George Lopez. <laughs> so that, that doesn't make any sense. It's just, thank you. The nose have it. I agree. Yeah. I actually agree. I don't think this guy should lose everything for this. Put him on leave. It was just, just a weird thing. Like, I don't even get it. But. <laughs> and he's 65. I mean, definitely. Mm, okay. Yeah, he's ready to retire. Yeah. And also, he may, I don't know. I don't know how you don't read it at all, though. I don't know how that happened. But boomer shit. Man, he's the only one who remembers Ch who Chingy is, apparently. <laughs> right. I'm looking at his Instagram right now, and it's all weird boomer memes, too. Like, oh. Almost entirely. Wait, let's pull it up. Put, link me that. Let's let's browse. I have a sneaking suspicion that he actually saw that that word was in there, and he thought it was a gate post anyway. I I have to assume yes because uh, it, 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 the explanation I didn't read it. Dude, nobody right. looks at his. He's not, this this post has seventy likes. This guy is posting for like his grandkids. That's it. Like, bruh. No, he doesn't think anyone's reading this. Look at this, 300 likes. Where did you, we go wrong, Nora? I'm not Nora. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This guy doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> look at this. I like dogs. I like, look at this meme here. I like dogs and maybe three people. Quality. Relatable. 500. So I don't think he should get fired. The man doesn't even know what the hell's going on. <laughs> I I tell you what, he shouldn't have an Instagram though. He he, he's not ready for all this. And he's, this is actually his job. <laughs> this is what he get paid ten million dollars a year to do. Fake yeah. Harris starter pack. Okay, <laughs> one hundred likes. <All> right. <laughs> Someone in the chat said he deserved to get fired for that dumbass lie. That's that's kind of what I agree too. It's just like okay. the explanation is kind of what pushes it over the edge to me. I'm Here's like, another Sesame Street meme. All of my stuff was repossessed. <laughs> 97 likes. Do you see what I'm saying, guys? Oh, because the garbage man emptied the garbage. That's, that's cute. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just saying. I'm looking for more racist ones. They would have found it already. Yeah. Well, you know. Here, guys. 80 likes. I am from Holland. Isn't that weird? Yes. Now, that's dog shit. <laughs> Top reply, why didn't this get you fired? <laughs> <laughs> Chingy responded. Yo! He made a video on Instagram saying he wasn't offended and he thinks it was just an honest mistake. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, okay. if Ch Chingy's coming out in support, guys. Yeah, let's go to Chingy's. <laughs> That's, my boy Chingy. It's so funny that he saw this. Yo, my boy Chingy and riding in support. What's See, somebody else has a good point. If he can't read a meme, he can't run a company. True. That, uh, that, that is kind of a fair point. There's a mm. basic level of, of competence uh, being displayed here, or lack thereof. Wow. Uh, the man's job, if anything, is to exercise good judgment. Right. Yes. That's, I think that that is actually a fair point. He's out. He's fired. <laughs> what's up? What's up, y'all? Y'all want to know what I'm doing? Why everybody's gossiping, talking about I'm trending around the world? 
over some stuff that I'm not even concerned about and that I didn't take to heart. That didn't mean much to me because I think it was just an honest mistake that the guy made. I just got off a military tour and now guess what I'm doing? I'm hanging out with my daughter while everybody around the world has my name in their mouth. You hear me, Galaxy? They got your daddy name in their mouth. And your daddy's just chilling with you. Yes, yeah, give me the luscious. Give me the luscious. Come on, give me the luscious. Give me the luscious. Okay, I don't, uh -uh. It's odd. <laughs> but in short, our boy Chingy, not offended. But I think you're right. Fire him for poor judgment. <laughs> I mean, it's also like he's an executive who's getting paid ten million dollars a year. He'll, he'll probably land on his feet, right? You know, it's well. Those can't feel that bad for him. Those executives just go from company to company. Yeah, it it's crazy. This whole inner circle of executives. I don't know what they do or who they are. But they go from company to company, they get jobs so easily, and they make millions. It's, it's baffling. What does an executive do that warrants that level of pay? What? Um, you're an executive of a company, are you not? I'm the owner. Oh. I mean, do Those you... guys don't do, they don't own the company, they don't do shit. I mean, you, but you employ some executives. I, I would hope that you think that they're doing something. Mm. I wouldn't call them an executive. That's such a nebulous title. All right. But there's like, a, you have a CFO, right? Like, or a, or a yeah. COO and everything. I mean, those are executives. Of a, of, I know it's, it doesn't feel comparable because Teddy Fresh is a small business compared to, you know, a giant public company. Well, like you that, think but. of like film companies, they have executives. Mm -hmm. But it's not like head of production or head of whatever. It's just executive. Um, right. right. No, I mean, they usually, they usually have... What would you say <laughs> right? you do around here? here. <laughs> All right, whatever. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, far be it for me to defend, uh, you know, overpaid executives. Um, I don't know too why much I'm wine, sticking sorry. up to them. Yeah. Too much wine. Too much wine. I must have had too much sorry. wine. Oh, man, there's... Speaking of Kev Kev... Um, do we have, so Ryan, I'm just going to talk about this briefly because I know not, you guys don't want to hear about it. I'll probably make an Ethan Klein video about it, but Ryan Kavanaugh, they, Triller put out their uh, SEC filing because as you guys know, they're merging with this small unknown company so they can go public. And dude, they lost almost a billion dollars last year, <laughs> dude. The filing is so bad. And like hundreds of millions of dollars just in executive comp. Uh, uh, 500 million in general expenses and administrative costs. Dude, he's, bro, he, that guy. Bleeding How did Brian dry. Kavanaugh, one of, the, one of the biggest con men in history, and I say that. Without a specific allegation. Without a specific allegation. <laughs> opinion, just, and just as a kind of a insult to a guy I don't like. Yes as a comedian and someone who doesn't know anything. Right. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's a great Good luck qualifier. putting that in a filing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, I mean, after he bankrupted Relativity, um, I'm surprised anyone gave him money. He got a billion, he lost a billion dollars last year. And that actually explains a lot, because I was like, <laughs> there's no way he's making money for anyone, uh, they only, except himself. They only lost 811 million, Right, sir. I'm rounding up. <laughs> Only, only eight hundred and eleven. But ru everybody, get your money. Everybody, rush in, guys! Huge investing opportunity. Triller's going public. Eight hundred million dollar loss. <laughs> only Ryan Kavanaugh could work magic like that. Somebody said of Ryan Kavanaugh, he's great at getting people to give him money, or he's yeah. Yeah, he's amazing at getting other people to give him money and great at and losing, even better and at even losing, better at losing that money. Yeah, <laughs> that's good shit. Yeah. First hand experience. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so Plenty bad. Of experience. It's 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 amazing. So that's fun. I I, I mean I I'm no expert on these things, but with that kind of uh, with that kind of loss, I mean it's hard to imagine them it's existing in another year or two, right? That's I, what I've been saying. I saying they're going to go under within a year or two, but I didn't. Re I could never have imagined that they were losing that much money. <laughs> I mean that is unfreaking believable. 
Holy crap, dude. Yeah, I'm just trying, I'm looking at their uh, sea, sea change. That's who they're merging with. Yeah, it was some like uh, tiny tech company. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a penny stock. It was trading for like 68 cents. And then when they announced the merger, someone's got notifications on. Who's got open. notifications on? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Who's got notifications on? Who did it? Just Discord on my computer. Somebody beeping. It's got to be one of the Zoom guys. Somebody blowing up. I... Who's on Zoom? Cam and We're both Bob. muted. We're both muted. Yeah, though. we're both muted. We're both muted. Who did it? I think it was Dan. No. Last just, time it was I, you. I just, send it again. Somebody send a... Oh, send a group chat? Okay. Here we go, guys. We're going to snuff out the rat. <laughs> well, sometimes it doesn't... It only does the notification sound the first time. We're going to snuff out the rat. Here it comes. Test. 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 Nothing. There's a ghost in the system. A ghost in the shell. Anyway, by the way, since we're on the topic, everyone type rank heaven under the search bar. Number mm -hmm. two, click the website. Is there any updates Still or number anything? Still number two, huh? Yeah. This is exciting. No, no updates, just keeping it uh, clean. Well, uh, just, just brush up on your knowledge. Yeah. Click it from the, just Google Ryan Kavanaugh. Click on, does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? Browse, you know, familiarize. Oh, there's this great clip. And that is, Ryan Kavanaugh is a force of nature. On Wow. <laughs> is that yeah. Harvey Weinstein talking about Ryan Kavanaugh? It's hard to tell. It sure is. is. It no. sound, I, I rec their voices are distinct, so when, they're, when I can mm -hmm. hear them, then it's easy to tell the difference. Right. Yeah. Yeah, well, anyways, guys, just tweet, tweet the link out, send it via Gmail, send it to your grandma, post Gra it on oh. your website, all mm. that stuff, all that good stuff. <laughs> By the way, Triller Check SEC this out. filing. Oh, what, what is that? It's just a little QR code. Scan it at home. You know, take Wait, a does look. that take you to the website? You just have to scan it and find out. Does it take you to uh, Coinbase? It could. It could. Everybody get out your phone and go ahead and give this QR code a little scan. Wait, I want to scan it now. <laughs> I have a feeling I know where it's going to take me, but it's not picking it up, guys. It's working for me. Okay. It's behind me at the moment. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, it takes to the website. <laughs> so, let's see. Uh, this guy is confusing me. This guy's been on the YouTube trending. You know, YouTube trending page is so contentious. It's always like, why is this guy on? Why is this person on? Why am I not, why am I not on? Why am I not good enough? Mm -hmm. Well, there's one guy who's been blowing up on the trending page named Ian Boggs. And nothing against Ian Boggs. He's not doing anything wrong. No. People are watching his videos, and YouTube's trending at him. I mean, he's not doing anything wrong. I mean, except making weird... I mean, not even, it's bad content, but it's, I guess, for kids. Um... I'll give you an example because they're all short. They're shorts. They're a minute long. So here, here's one of them. Power contacts early. What? Not fair. Wait, didn't you hear about the scam that's going around? What scam? Instead of giving powers that can be used for good, someone's been sending out powers for evil. Man, you're just jealous. I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, these look cool. Why is my mom in here? Hey, mom. Where did Ian go? I'm right here. Hey, mom. <laughs> Who tapped my shoulder? So I'm invisible and silent. Sick. Hey, Mr. Rogers. Like you can hear me? Hey there, kid. Wait, you can hear me? Just like I can see you. Um, huh. Dude, so I found out my contacts make me invisible and silent. But when I spoke to Mr. Rogers, he could see and hear me. I don't think your contacts make you invisible, dude. Why do you say that? You didn't hear? Mr. Rogers passed away last week. Huh? Boo! I'm gonna have to disagree with you, Ethan. I think what he's doing is bad. It's real bad. I mean, he's not <laughs> a bad guy. I'm just saying, like, we talk about bad people, you know? I'm, mm -hmm. I'm not trying to, like, send hate to the guy. Yeah. But, 
I mean, it's. I feel revulsed when I watch it, <laughs> but I don't want to pass judgment on the guy. I don't know what's going on here. What's the comment say? So the eye contact turns Ian into a ghost like Danny Phantom. Yep. That was so interesting. I want to be invisible and silent because that way I don't have to go anywhere. 1,000 likes. <laughs> I mean, it's just kids, right? Uh, yeah, it's got to be. Little nope. girls, probably, specifically. Let this man have his own Netflix show. <laughs> Definitely. Whoa. Definitely. With, a, with, the, with writing like that, with a plot like that. <laughs> What Instant hit. What the freak? Yeah, you might as well let Jay Station have a Netflix show while you're at it. <laughs> what the freak? <laughs> so this was like number one trending, right? And 3.5 I don't million. think it was number one, but it was in the top ten. It and was number three. It, it kept popping up. Um, I, I kept seeing it like week after week, different videos of his. And finally I was just like, why, why are these always on trending? Like, what... What is going on? 27 here? million on this one. Another superpower one. Part 13. Okay. What's my superpower today? I can't feel pain. It's kind of lame. Hey, mom. Ooh, ooh, marinara sauce. How is that lame? Why? Why would you even say can't feel pain is lame? That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know. All of these always. Th there's so many twists and turns. Like it, it's it. It's a it, whole. It's never going you know I mean? where you think it's going. He's basically, the, well, who's the guy who wrote the... <laughs> Ooh, marinara sauce. He wrote the Three Musketeers <laughs> and all those amazing books. Dumas. Yeah. Alexander Dumas. Yeah. Yeah. They say he's the greatest Jeez, storyteller yeah. of all time. Mm -hmm. He's Alexander Dumas. Mm, really tasty. That, that was still boiling. How are you not screaming in pain right now? I don't know. I guess I have a useful superpower or something. Dude, oh. you literally just destroyed your tongue. You will never... You're bleeding internally right now. <laughs> All right, well, be careful at school today. Mom, you don't got to worry about me. <laughs> Bro, be careful. Chad's picking fights with everyone today. Chad's weak. Chad's weak, yeah? I'm going to hit you where it hurts, yeah? Oof, low blow, dude. How are you not in pain, yeah? Are you even human, yeah? Chad, you need to work out more. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Sarah. Ian, I'm breaking up with you. Oh. And to make this even more painful, I'm going out with your brother. Wow. Seriously? You're not even emotionally in pain right now? This is right recurring. Now? No. Fine. We'll be happy or whatever. Huh? <laughs> It's a recurring theme that his girlfriend keeps cheating on him with his brother. Oh, uh, really? That pops up in several videos, which is a little, <laughs> it's a little weird. 27 million views. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't feel pain, meaning his body can still be harmed just without him realizing it. It's actually more of a curse. Oh, thank you. 10,000 likes. Thank you, SS the Insane. Oh, these are just kids. It. These are just kids. Yeah, it's, it's definitely content for kids. I love how Chad always says yeah after every sentence. I love that. I like how Chad said yeah, and after Ian said, you need to work out more. Uh-huh. How old are these people? I mean, like, genuinely <laughs> curious. Get stabbed. Didn't even hurt. Dies. Cool. Sonic.exe. Yeah, I mean, JayStation got, like, 10 million views on videos, too, right? Like, taking... Are this, like, 10? Is this younger? Is this 8? You know? <sighs> It, it does. I think it's a bit older, honestly. 16. No, 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 no. no it no, could no, I think no, so. No, 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 no shot. How could that no be? No shot. Your brain can That's too close to a fully, to a fully formed brain <laughs> to be watching this. No shot, dude. No. Yeah, I'm really sad. Yeah, I'm really sad. James Charles' uh, target audience, basically. Well, there's a whole bunch of these, but... Well, anyway, we recorded um, some of our own because we're going to try to go viral on the shorts. I mean, with views like that, you can't really complain, right? Like, it's kind of unbelievable how... Let's upload it to again. shorts and see if we get the gajillion views. Okay. But before we do, thank you to Harry's Razors. Wow, what a Thank you. This March, dump the madness of your old expensive shaving routine by trying Harry's. Betting on the underdog can pay off big, especially with a company like Harry's that teams up the best quality and construction methods in the razor game with incredibly fair pricing. I love Harry's. You guys, you guys use Harry's? I do. 
And I am a guy who needs to on the dome, right? Quite a bit on the dome, man, and on my neck. What do you use? What kind of do you use any like cream or anything when yeah. you shave? I use the hair thing. And that's, oh, they no, no lie. I use their little kit. It's great. So you put they give you like shaving gel or foam, mm -hmm. and you dome your and then head after up. after shave uh, moisturizer. Oh, kind you of after thing. shave your dome? Yeah, you gotta take care of that dome, baby. I also am a f huge fan of the razors. Great straight razors. Well, the right. thing is that they're just and for women too. I mean, I have these razors in the shower because I shaved the back of my neck. And Ela uses them too, and she loves it. They're they're just good. I mean, it's it's a great razor. You know, it lasts a long time, and it's affordable. I mean, what more can you do with with that? You know. Uh, you know, it says how does supporting an up and coming company make you feel independent? How are they up and coming? Aries has been around forever. <laughs> I'm just saying. I feel great supporting an up-and-coming company. I mean, compared to like, you know, I don't want to say. I don't think that they have been around forever. They, remember, they, they bought a, uh, a um, razor company in Germany um, that had been around since the 1920s or something. It used to be in their copy all the time. Okay, here, let me just read this because they want. Please. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Betting on the underdog can pay off big, especially with a company like Harry's that teams up with best quality and construction methods in the razor game. I feel great supporting a independent, up-and-coming company. Listen, nobody cares about that. It's a good razor and a great price. Okay? That is the number one selling. I mean, point. let's just be real about why we're buying razors. And guess what, guys? New customers can get the Harry's trial set for just three bucks at Harry's.com/slash H3. You're not going to go to a grocery store and get razors like this for three bucks. That's not happening. Even the sh crappiest razors are going to cost you more than three bucks. Mm-hmm. Harry's believes you shouldn't have to choose between a close, comfortable shave and a fair price, so they give you both. In fact, Harry's blades are designed to stay sharp longer. In a recent study, guys who shave four times a week said their eighth shave was just as smooth as their first. And that's a better experience with every shave and savings over time. Harry's giving their best offer, offer to our listeners. New Harry's customers can redeem a starter set. You get the five-blade razor, a weighted handle, foaming gel with aloe and a travel cover to protect your blades when you're on the go that's a 13 dollars value for just three bucks there's truly never been a better time to try harry's go to harry's.com slash h3 to try harry's today oh monsieur thank you thank you thank you mistress thank you thank you all right so we made uh we made our own shorts what are these do you want me to read these ian you want to do yours first uh, not yet not yet Oh, not yet? Okay. So who wants to go first? Uh, here, I have them all queued up in a playlist here, so I can just let them, right, guys, let them rip. Your eyes. Go ahead, Dan. All right, so here's AB's attempt. Uh, you know, why I go oh, first. you're going for the Arabic uh, audience? I don't want to go first. <laughs> well, too bad. Whoa, I got these magic crocs wow. that make a magical Coke appear? This is crazy. All you got to do is put them on. Whoa, it works. And when you drink the Coke, a crazy old Arab man yells at you? What do you think? It's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I think his are a little more complex. Right. It is a little simple. There's a little bit more of a, of a thread and a moral story. His thing is always careful what you wish for. Right? Yeah. I was thinking of doing one where like you take a pill that gives you powers and it's like you could spontaneously combust like the human torch, mm -hmm. but you can't survive it. Oh, that would be Why good. would you want to combust? Exactly. I mean, you're like the human torch powers, but you're not fireproof. You just die immediately. Yeah, you're not, you're not fireproof. <laughs> you're like, yo, you're, you're like, a, what was the guy from the Fantastic Four? The human torch. Human torch. Yeah. Oh, that was his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I'm the human torch. And then he does it. Right. Melts. Exactly. <laughs> okay, pretty good. I think I think there's potential there. The off yell, the yelling of the Arabic man off screen was on point for sure. He always does old people voices. Right. Okay. Um, Next. Zax uh, is next. It's a little more abstract, this one, but... Even but more it, abstract? Uh, okay, it's time to play Wordle. Let's start out with great word. Hello. Okay, green. On the E, the double L, and the O. I wonder what it could be. Oh, my brother just got home from school. Hope you had a good day. Oh man, my stomach hurts. Shouldn't have eaten that big ass hot dog I saw on TikTok. The mayo tasted kind of off. Oh man, the toilet is clogged. 
forgot. <laughs> Why don't they call this game lame <laughs> Nice. I should add that one to my one-liners. Thank God, no timers on this game. Oh man, it's to poop. You know what? I'm gonna go take a shit in the bush. Man, I hope someone saw me. <laughs> I gotta add that one to the one-liners. Well, I give up. I'll just keep typing hello. Oh, the word was jello. I could have never gotten that. Wow. <laughs> I gotta say, very impressed. Yeah, you like that it's one? It's off you. the walls. Uh -huh. It's pure nonsense. <laughs> Love the internal dialogue. Yeah. Thank you. Hitting off, I think that that one that one's kind of a hit. I, I like it. I think that one could go viral. Thank okay. you. I appreciate that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, here's mine. Mine is uh, similar to. Well, we didn't watch any of his birthday ones, did we? Or did we? You, should I watch one of his birthday ones? Oh, because it's just. It doesn't really matter. It's, uh, he has a bunch of birthday ones. Mine is kind of a parody of that one, or not a parody. This is very serious, and I hope it goes viral. Uh, one sec. Here we go. Hey, big bro, did you hear the news? No, what's up? The LA Lakers just switched sports to soccer. LeBron James is a soccer player now. No, he's not a soccer player, he's a football player. No, he plays soccer now. <sighs> they call soccer football in Europe. Everybody knows that. That's where it'd be playing. Wait, I thought you said you hadn't heard about this. I hadn't, but I'm wearing my new birthday hat that dad gave me that gives me omniscient knowledge of past, present, and future. Wow, that's so cool. Can I try it out? <laughs> No, it's my birthday present. Besides, if you put it on, you'll turn into Baphomet, the occluded, sabbatic goat god of the Knights Templar. A Baphomet? <sighs> yeah, Baphomet. You know what? Just get out of my room. I can't. I don't have legs. They've been replaced with spiders. <laughs> <sighs> Little sisters, am I right? Wow. What do you think? It's a mind bender. Yeah. I was just very impressed by how he, he goes in directions that you really don't expect. And so I, I really tried to just kind of... <laughs> I mean, the off-camera voice is spot on. Mm -hmm. Thank that you. That was very good. Thank you. I think if, if it would have been him, it's like you give it to his little sister, and then she gets overwhelmed by the, the vast knowledge of infinite space. And right, like, and it like breaks her brain? brain aneurysm and oh, dies. Oh, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, because it's, it's always a lot of those do have tragedies at the end, so you're kind of right. It's always careful what you wish for. Right. Mm -hmm. Very good, though. Okay, thank you, thank you. Powerful stuff. Very yeah. good. Very compelling. I was working on that voiceover for a while. Oh, that was you, huh? Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah. So far, I think Zach's is most likely to go viral, if I had to guess. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah, we got one from Ian. <laughs> Fred and I hit a deer on Highway 136 south of Dyersville. After I pulled a fender rubbing on tire, we continued to farm. Assume deer dead. I assume deer dead because it was night and no carcass. Just got word that my daughter Wendy told her car. She's okay. She hit deer. Deer dead. <laughs> I learned it was granddaughter Shirley in the car, not daughter Wendy. She is okay. Deer still dead. I was doing morning run at farm. Deer killed by car and ditch. He was dead. <laughs> Seen dead deer on the way to church. They didn't hit my car. Unsafe if you drive an area where deer <laughs> congregate. Fred driving me. He said Tuesday before New Year Day, he hid deer. Don't have to assume anything. He told deer dead. I wasn't with him that night. Drove on highway where Fred and I hit a deer. No deer this time. You of hair rad saying deer in headlight look. It's a frightening experience where a real <laughs> deer is there. Assume all Iowans must drive with caution. Wow. Wow. A cautionary tale <laughs> to all Iowans. A powerful PSA. Thank you. Which is to be careful for deer. Watch out for deer. Yeah, yeah. It's a big big issue out yeah, there. It's yeah, it's a big problem. I'm just trying to make sure I understand. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's it's about hitting or, deer. I wasn't sure if it was just about killing deer or no, avoiding you deer. Don't want to you do don't, you don't want it's that. dangerous. It just seemed like with that many people hitting deer, it'd be hard to assume they weren't doing it on purpose. Yeah. So I've got a link there if you want to click. Uh, a link? Open that up. Yeah, that thing you popped open earlier. Oh, you want me to open the... Yeah. So apparently we need context for Ian's. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this is kind of cheating, Ian. I don't think we're allowed to show context for these, but oh, okay. I'll give it to you. I was just oh, reading, you were just reading his fucking tweets? Yeah, what Senator Chuck Grassley from Iowa. These were his tweets. <laughs> all of, just all of that was Holy just... Holy shit, no back way, to back dude. Chuck Grassley. 
What the hell? When you're looking to do something that like free association, uh, Chuck Grassley um, is a good resource to tap. So wait, this is an elected official? He's a senator. He's a senator? Yes. One of a hundred exclusive men and women. That's right. To serve our great country. Fred and I hit a deer on Highway 136 south of Dayersville. After I pulled Fender rubbing on tire, we continued to farm. <laughs> Assume deer did. Wow, I can't believe this motherfucker exists. I assumed deer dead because it was not and no carcass. <laughs> this was eight years later, by the way. <laughs> They're all Holy over the crap, place. So he's man. hitting deer on seemingly like a this weekly guy, basis. This guy's killed more animals on the road than Keemstar. <laughs> Murder animal! He's 88 years old. Maybe he should stop driving. <laughs> oh, is he 88? Mm-hmm. Oh my lord! I learned, it wasn't no deer. It was a my. It was a child. I kept driving. <laughs> we kept. We continued to farm. I learned it was a grand. Oh no! I learned it was granddaughter Shirley in the car accident, not daughter Wendy. She's okay. The she deer is still dead. <laughs> ah, what the fuck! <laughs> I just got word my daughter Wendy totaled her car. She's okay. She hit deer dead. No presumptions, I'm told. What in the fuck, bro? <laughs> this is staggering. Good find, Ian. Yeah. Well, we've talked about him a few times on the show before because he had that infamous, like, really weird pigeon tweet where he's like, found dead pigeon. If it belongs to you, come pick it up. Yeah, I'm sure they're rushing over about? there and get their dead pigeon. Animals! <laughs> Man, this is hella weird. Seen dead deer on my way to church. They didn't hit my car. Unsafe if you drive an area where deer congregate. Iowans need longer season to kill more. Oh, yeah, he, the man hates deer. It's clearly. He wants to kill all the deer. You heard Harold saying deer in headlight look? It's a frightening experience with a real deer is there. <laughs> this is Chuck Grassley. Chuck, Chuck, but Chuck putting the, all the pets and animals under the grassly. <laughs> if you lost your pet pigeon, it's dead in front of yard my I will farm. Just discovered. Here are identifiers, right leg blue, 2020, 3089, Audi, 2020, she, left leg green band, no printed info. Sorry for the bad news. <laughs> this man needs to be, um, he needs <laughs> This guy needs, like, care, like, end-of-life care. <laughs> he should be in hospital. Not in the Senate. Yes. Wow. Oh, God. He's the goat. Fred drive with me. He said Tuesday before New Year Day he hit deer. Don't have to assume anything. He told deer dead. I went with him that night. What in the fuck? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Get him out of the Senate, man. <laughs> Tired of these boom, these old fuck. Is that guy even a boomer? He's like pre-boomer. He's like great generation. <laughs> he's boy. He's not. He's too old to be a boomer even. Yeah. So I want to do my own. Uh, I wanted to do. You want to try own. and uh, do one off the cuff? Yeah. Let's see. Can I get the format and the music and everything? Yeah. One second. I hit deer. The deer was dead. Now, whose is the deer? Is this of mine or the city's? Here you go. I hit a deer. Can I keep it? Is it mine or the city's? Bring deer back home. Deer wake up. Ruin my whole damn house. So I killed that deer and ate him for supper. Mm-mm. That's good deer. Okay, wait. No, let me get serious. <laughs> okay. Hey, guys. I just got a magical shirt. I got a magical beanie. It makes my head disappear. Huh? And nobody can see me. Watch. Hey, where did it go? I'm right here, you fucking idiot. Oh, wow, that's amazing. It's a magical beanie. Oh, wow, here I am. I'm walking around. I'm going to rob a bank. Hey, what's that money floating? Poof, poof, poof. I'm dead. It's scene. got tragedy. Wow. You try. You reach too far. That was Absolutely. good. Absolutely, that was thank, fantastic. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> We're going viral, folks. 
Oh, here I've got one. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Set them up. Hey, I'm Bill Grassley. I got a magic apple. When I eat it, it turns me into a deer. I love deer. Mmm. Hey, where'd Bill go? I'm a deer. I'm walking on the road. Oh, shit, that's my daughter, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> I got killed by my daughter, Wendy, on the highway. Wow, that had everything. That had highs, lows, tragedy, comedy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now my daughter, Wendy, put me in the truck. She's eating me. <laughs> Pretty powerful, eh? Yeah. Fun. Good times. <laughs> Good job, guys. It's fun, you know. And shout out to to Ian Hogg or whatever your name was, Ian Bog, Bog or Hogg? The Boss Hog. The Boss Hog. Who are we talking about? Bog. The guy that we just watched. The Boss the Bog. I'm sorry, it is a B. Oh, that was his name. Yeah. 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 I hit. Now who? I hit the deer. I'm climbing. Now it's a cold night. I'm climbing in the deer's carcass to keep warm. <laughs> Oh, wait, I got another one. I got another one. Okay. My name's Grassley. I'm walking down the road, and I'm freezing cold because my car broke down. <laughs> Look, honey, there's a deer. Go, hurry, kill it. We need its carcass to keep warm. I stab the deer with my knife, and I climb inside his body. It's nice and warm. Oh, no, here comes a buck. He having sex with the carcass, oh, and no. I end up getting awarded by a big old buck. Oh, the end. no. Oh. <laughs> Tragedy, right? Uh, From good to bad. Just like that. Trending. It's just like life. Just like life, you yeah. guys. It's, it's unbelievable. What do you guys want to poll for? Poll? Oh. They're saying a poll to see who had the best life. one. Uh, it's not that important. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, not, it's not that important. When we, here's how you, you express who had the best one. When we uh, post them all, make your favorite one go viral. Watch it over and over again. Share it with your friends. We're getting. To Let's not get banned. We're getting number one on tr YouTube trending. Come on. Can we tell people just to loop it? I feel like that's YouTube don't like that. We're gonna post them on TikTok. Yeah. Wait, I thought we we're gonna do shorts. YouTube short. You think TikTok's gonna share that shit? That's a YouTube well, short crap. <laughs> that he was. Oh no, no. He posts all of those on on TikTok as well. In fact, the views on TikTok are even crazier. He gets are like, you serious? He gets like forty million has, views. Yeah, he has ten point five million phone. followers what? on TikTok. Yep. Damn, boy. Okay, well, let's post them all on TikTok then and see what happens. Yeah. We're saying we're all winners, so that's good. Oh, we're all winners. Yeah. Beautiful. We all got them deers. Mm-hmm. I eat deer for every meal, boy. Yeehaw. All right, well, that's enough about that, eh? Fun times, good times. Good times, man. Good times. Good times. We have fun on the show, don't we? I love to have fun. <laughs> I love to laugh, and I love to have fun. That's right. That's the most interesting thing about me. I love pizza, and I love people. Yep, me too. <laughs> we have a lot in common with that pop-up. By the way, Papa spoke at CPAC. Did you guys? I didn't see much media out of the CPAC. Was it just a well, flop arena? Well, it was completely overshadowed by the breakout of you know a giant war in Europe. But even it, that still, was on, like, you, I think CPAC started the day after the invasion started, so the it kind of got pushed out of the news cycle. But was there not any good sound bites? From I saw there? a few like cringe things, but. Honestly, it really didn't. Nobody see, cared. Nobody cared. You I know mean, what else is more interesting? Things going on in the world. You guys remember how the trucker convoy was such a big deal in Canada, and they were coming down to do a convoy in the U.S. I in D.C. I think. Yes. DC. And and nobody gives a shit. No bro. one showed They're up. They're trying to block traffic in D.C. By the way, and like the mass restrictions are lifted, so I don't even know what they're protesting at this point. I guess that's why nobody showed up. I, I saw an article that like 30 people showed up or something. So. Yeehaw, we're going to block DC, boys. Yeah. Well, interesting. They, maybe they could collab with the JFK Still Alive gang and head on down to Dallas. I think yeah. they're still down there. Last I saw. I think it's about equal amounts of been them. been there for like four months. I now. also read that these trucks were just getting stuck in traffic and they weren't making it to DC. <laughs> it's awesome. We're changing the world, boy, with our trucks. Woo, woo. Till it gets hot in Texas. So here's a, here's a crypto-related story that's pretty fun and interesting. A place called Cryptoland, which is giving me Fire Festival vibes. 
Yes, indeed. First announced on November 4th, 2021, CryptoLand is a proposed project headed by cryptocurrency enthusiast to purchase an existing island in Fiji and develop it into a haven for cryptocurrency enthusiasts. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what does a haven for cryptocurrency enthusiasts look like? A uh, normal place, like a resort? I don't know. Despite many thinking the video was a satire, the Cryptoland project is real, but multiple details about the project raised alarms. Oh, are you serious? Including that it was a potential scam? Come on, they were going to buy an island in Fiji as a utopia for crypto bros. Uh, it was a scam, or if not a scam, a potential humanitarian crisis <laughs> causing a comparison to Fire Festival. So the island is this island that has... Where's their video? Like, no, uh... It is right here. Here it is, yeah. So here's their announcement video, which looks like a video game, like Roll Coaster Tycoon. Like, what the hell? <laughs> so they're trying to launch this in conjunction with 10,000 NFTs, 60 of which would be tied to parcels of land on the island. The NFTs, I swear to you now, are called connies. You know, like to con somebody. <laughs> so here we go. They deleted it. So is the project off because they erased it? Uh, it their website's still up. Um, I tried to join their Discord, but I immediately got hit with a link to verify that I wasn't a bot. That seemed really like Fishy. I didn't, I didn't want to click on anything having to do with them. So um, I am unsure. I don't think um, I, I think they've probably cut their losses and run at this point because everybody just made fun of them uh, for this. And like the video that we're about to watch, they deleted off their channel. But thankfully, somebody re-uploaded it. Here's so. the description: the first physical crypto island, the first physical crypto island. Mm -hmm. We're building the number one crypto destination on Earth, a crypto paradise where the community can surround themselves with other like-minded individuals. Why don't you just rent a fucking event hall at the Holiday Inn, like <laughs> other f idiots, like <laughs> other freaks with weird hobbies? All right. Buy crypto enthusiasts for crypto enthusiasts. Just ask Hi. the furries what they do, man. And just, like, you don't need to go to an island <laughs> and shit. I mean, peace and love to the furries. The furries no, they this have it figured me, out. Yeah, they have, exactly. For a crypto degen with a crush for crypto kitties. I'm on my way to crypto land. The fuck did you just say? <laughs> I gotta go back. On Hi, this is me, Christopher. A crypto degen with a crush for crypto kitties. All right, arrest him. <laughs> A crush for crypto kitties? Keep this guy out of Thailand and places like that, man. <laughs> Do not fly. You know, there are a lot of libertarian crypto enthusiasts, so it's not too surprising. I'm on my way to crypto land, the number one crypto destination on Earth where crypto enthusiasts, or crypto landers, like we're called here, can meet with like-minded individuals He's in wearing a real Bitcoin life. Shirt. And when Connie, it's the cool. founder, told me that visionary investors could own a piece of this unique island, I smash bought one of the 60 exclusive parcels on the blockchain hills. That's how I became a king. This man is dead inside. <laughs> crypto lander. There it is. You know, as shitty as the, um... So, are you... As shitty as the... As the animation is, I'm sure they spent a lot of money on this. Yeah, and it's like 10 minutes long. It's very involved. There's still lots of scenes. It's... Yeah, no, it, it costs a decent amount to put this together. Coming to the Vladimir Club Party tonight? Yeah, just for crypto inter NFT holders, right? Yeah, man. Who's, who's... Have a nice day, sir. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> What is that? <laughs> You're about to find out. Thank you. <laughs> Connie? Why is he cat? That's Connie. Christopher! Come here, buddy! <laughs> oh, Their mascot. Yeah, 50,000 blocks at least. So are they trying to represent that this is a real thing or not? Because last I checked, there's not giant humanoid Bitcoins <laughs> walking around to greet you on an island. So is it going for realism or not? This seems like a fantasy. People are saying they're very scared of the coin. It's terrifying. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> I don't like that. And I, I mean, you got to see here. Let me just pull these up real quick. <laughs> the, um, the NFTs. Because it, it's that guy. So you you could uh, you could own one. Oh, they're selling the crypt the connies. Yep. Look how fucking epic they are. I want this one for sure. 
Oh, Do you cool. guys see how bad people think these crypto bros are so dumb that they're conning them with the dumbest thing possible? Do you see how dumb this whole crypto movement is? <sighs> this it's just devolved into such dumb crap. And it's like just, this. It's just a it's just a fire hose of it. Uh, uh, like it's overwhelming and and you know I I've definitely soured on the entire thing. If there is any like one of these projects that has anything re redeemable about it at all, it's completely overshadowed by just the absolute deluge of these. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, there are 10,000 of these for every one potentially interesting, you know, use case. Well, for the it. thing, even if there's an interesting one, let's just take Bored Apes as an example, because that's the popular one. It's like real people with a real desire to collect. It just turned into this dumb speculative thing where it's all about making money, and it's not about like being part of a community or owning cool art. It's all just speculation. It's all about making money. Going to the moon, baby. It's just, it's so stupid, dude, yeah. you know. You know, you're in trouble. That crypto shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally off on crypto. I'm out. We dropped all of our crypto sponsors. As painful as that was to my wallet, mm -hmm. I just think it's all a giant scam. And I'm sorry if you're into it. I know it's hard. It's hard. Once you're investing, you spend this much time and stuff, it's hard to hear. <laughs> In fact, call in. I like to talk to a crypto bro. Maybe maybe we could have a dialogue. Perhaps. Are we set I up for no, He's just having a big joke out of it. <laughs> no, I don't have the system well, on crypto or anything. And his crypto and his, and his Carlos and his bros were crypto bros. That They did not show well on our show. <laughs> they never do is the thing because it's just, there's no substance behind any of it. It's all it's all just smoke and mirrors. Uh, I mean, it's just get, get rich quick kind of shit. Yeah. Unfortunately, when it comes to these schemes and popular movements, it's always the richest people that are going to be making the money anyway. You know, mm -hmm. Gary Vee is rich, and he's way richer. And none of the people that buy this shit are going to make money. I fucking bet you, dude, everybody's losing money who's buying those dumb fucking V friends. A V friend? You sour on I mean, V? I... He's still standing, V. He's a, sc he's a scammer, bro. Fuck Gary Vee, straight up. <laughs> I don't like him at all. AB, thoughts? AB, thoughts? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's true. Yeah, Gary Vee is your is your Kanye. He's just. Isn't he? I don't think he's a good I got, guy. I got, a, I got a few Kanyes, Dan. Oh. Um, I, I don't, and I'm sorry. No, I mean I was never like a huge fan. I mean I oh. like his stuff. I like his stuff, and I haven't watched him, but I have been seeing a lot more comments. Like Gary used to put out a lot of motivating stuff, but more recently it seems like he's just uh, trying to. He's just chilling. Off. Yeah. Chill it. Always be chilling. Maybe yes. Fuck up. Gary just followed the money. He's very money driven. He's like the human embodiment of capitalism. Actually, it's not even true, because it's like not even capital. It's like, I get capital, you get nothing. <laughs> Capitalism uh, implies some exchange of goods or something. Uh, now it's well, just... You get a drawing. You get a drawing. Or do you even... Does Gary Vee send you the V friend? No, of course not. It's literally just the digital... It's the JPEG. That's what yes. you get. You think he, you, you get the drawing? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> because if you bought or sold oh, the boy. crypto, you'd have to send the drawing with it. Right. Because Gary Vee only wants you to, and he only talks about NFTs now. And the reason he's focused on NFTs is the more people that buy into this crap and invest, the richer he gets. He is so invested in NFTs. The dude is, he's talking about NFT restaurants now. I mean, he's just lost his mind. We have the video of that. Let's let's stick to the point here on the crypto yeah, land okay, for now. Yeah. Been waiting for you since consensus. What are you, a pending transaction or what? Well, I guess I'm confirmed now. Ready to become a crypto land maximalist. This is crazy. <clears throat> Sir, welcome to crypto land. The holders of last resort. <laughs> the holders of last resort? The hodlers of last resort. That doesn't sound good. Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Hey, stacking stats like crazy, right? <laughs> Honey Badger don't care. We are gonna make it. The community.
community's loving it. Oh my like God. on Twitter. <laughs> Can't wait for you to give me a tour, Connie. What do you want to see first, Christopher? I don't know. Let's start with the best. No. I always keep the best for last. Let's go leave your luggage in your home first, and then I'll show you around. All the other King Cryptolanders have been riding... Where's the, like the Epstein-style Greek temple where they <laughs> sacrifice people? Yeah. Here's the best part, Christopher. <laughs> this is where we sell human organs. How do you think we pay for this island, Christopher, through crypto? Oh. And guess whose organs are next, Christopher? Yours. You're a young and healthy man. Your kidney is worth a million dollars on the black market, Christopher. You don't need both. Donate it for the island, Christopher. Or we'll be forced to take it from you. ...from all corners of the world. When we get to the blockchain hills, you're gonna understand what I meant by a first-class crypto lifestyle, man. Hey, Martin, please get us a car, would you? Yes, sir. Everybody is here. Carolyn. Wait, you got, you got here. a, uh, Cam's got a theory here hmm. on Connie. It's just a rip of the fried Oreo mascot. This is a photo I took, uh, when we went to Venice Beach. Oh, we went to Venice shit. Beach and we had this yeah, cursed, I remember. Uh, yeah. So they, so they ripped off a terrible and cursed mascot. <laughs> <laughs> that looked familiar. Like, make, goes, Where does like, that look familiar? <laughs> that's funny. This one's fine. This one's fine. This one is cursed as fuck. <laughs> hey, why does he have teeth? Like, just that's weird, scary. dude. The teeth. Like, why are they so detailed? <laughs> you, you know? Yeah, something went wrong with that Oreo. And then Connie, uh, and then he became Connie. He got a new job. <laughs> he got fired from Oreo, got hired by Crypto Island. There he is. Hi. Hi, Mr. Adams. Nice to see you, sir. Did you have a good flight? Oh, yes. Excellent. Thanks for asking. Great. Here are your keys. Not your keys. Not your bitcoins. Seriously? Your keys. Wait, wait. Not your keys, not your bitcoin? What does that mean? I think it's in reference to, like, if people get their shit stolen, like they get hacked uh, on uh, and their crypto stolen, people will, like, sarcastically tell them, like, well, if you don't have the, uh, if you don't have the, the wallet, you don't have the bitcoins. It's basically telling somebody that, yeah, they got fucked, which is like a weird thing to put in your, your ad for, for this scheme. Okay. I, think, I think a lot of crypto bros also say that it's not your Bitcoin if you have them on, on like a, an exchange, a public exchange. Oh, maybe it's so, that. Okay. So un unless you don't have, have the crypto on a cold storage, like a USB stick. Right. You're a noob. Yeah, you're a noob. Seems like a good way to, to store your belongings. I, I, if I had put everything I owned onto a um, thumb drive, I'd feel really good about that, actually. <laughs> yeah. Tremendous security It's far safer than keeping it in a bank. Yeah, yeah. I don't trust Chase Bank. I don't trust Chase J.P. Morgan to keep my bunny safe. I mean, the people that are true evangelists of this whole thing, at, at, at its core, is a... Is a huge distrust of the banking system and everything Look, so i don't yeah, trust I mean. chase but they're not gonna go under chase ain't gonna lose my money i'll tell you what's more likely are you more likely that chase jp morgan goes bankrupt or that you fucking misplace a thumb drive <laughs> right yeah or spill a coke on it or some shit. yeah yeah you have to kind of do a risk analysis on that a little bit Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. <laughs> Where do you come up with these crazy ideas? Shitcoin. Uh, I'm not going to tell you where. <laughs> Sir, the Lambo's ready. The what? Lambo's ready. To the moon! To the room! To the room, not the moon! Entering the Blockchain Hills. Hey, what's that? The Vladimir Club. I'm just so confused. Is this a real place or not? Because the whole thing is pure fantasy. You it's know? supposed to be. Um, now, apparently, they said that they bought this island, but then some people did some research on it, and the island was like still for sale. So it's the no whole way thing they bought the island. Seems, yeah. There's no fucking. Of course not, dude. <laughs> You think this Bitcoin, you think you could have sex with this coin mascot? Does he have like an, an anatomical coin correct? Coin, yeah. Coin -si? Coin -si? B -to -si? <laughs> B -to -si. Uh Yes. Yes, you can. Possibly. Ethereum's been fucking me over. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at this. Look at this. Uh, 
This is sweet. Crypto land. What is the age of consent and crypto on the crypto island? <laughs> and they responded, mental maturity should be more than enough. You got to No, that's kidding. not real. Well, it's it is actually. Are you fucking me in the tits right now? That's real? Well, the person who posted it provided like screenshots showing that they got blocked by them and mental it's maturity should be more than enough wink face that can't be real please well their, their whole, it's hard to say their whole bena is like oh we're not scammers but we know about scammers i don't know so well no yeah. their whole thing is you can fuck kids on our island <laughs> that <laughs> seems like based on this if it's real no i mean i i remember this being a big drama so i'm pretty sure it's real allegedly oh. holy shit dude well like i said a lot of a lot of libertarians in the uh, crypto community holy shit mental maturity should be more than enough that is disgusting and creepy this eight-year-old is very mature for her age <laughs> and there's members only club we are preparing everything for tonight we are throwing the most epic crypto party ever don't, oh, wonder, don't show the plus of them like that Vladim so much worse vladimir club uh, yeah, the Vladimir Club. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now it's being co-opted by Jordan Peterson. I just love it. The whole thing is turning into such a shit show, you guys. Jordan Peterson is speaking at a Bitcoin convention. You just can't make it up. Yeah. The thing about Bitcoin is that the woke culture can't touch it. The cultural Marxists are freaking out because Bitcoin is, it, it's, it's, it's changing the world. You can use, you can create islands where the age of consent is whatever you want. It's changing the world. Bit, where would we be without Bitcoin? It's decentralized. You know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? You guys want to buy some Bitcoin? I was paid in U.S. dollars for this speaking event, by the way. Crypto's fucking worthless! <laughs> I don't accept payment in crypto, are you crazy? I got bills to pay. You're gonna pay me Bitcoin? Are you out of your fucking mind, bucko? I got 12 steps to walking out of here. One, I accept USD only. Two, only meat for meals. During the convention, no vegetables. <laughs> now that's crypto land right there, my dude. That's crypto land. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so funny. I guess if anybody's unfamiliar, that is the uh, weird temple building on Epstein's uh, island. Yeah. So creepy. So creepy. Well... What plus one is going to be? <laughs> here we are, King Crypto Lenders Territory. Wow! And here you have the 60 parcels. I can't wait to get to mine. Ta -da! Oh my so, god! So they're building you a whole house too? for Just for buying an NFT? They're going to build you a whole luxury house? Oh. Well, only... it's <laughs> So in the description it the said parcel. only 60 of the NFT holders would get parcels of land. So I don't know if... I mean, none of this makes sense, so like trying to like suss this out is kind of it's, an exercise in futility, but I think six, like the 60 most expensive NFTs would basically be an access to owning land on this island, and then everybody else that owns an NFT can just come visit as like a resort. Okay, that's that's but, what, my understanding. But in this video, they've built this house for him. To build something so maybe for vacations, but now right, that yeah. I'm here, I might never leave. I already see we're going to have the time of our lives. Show me more. Okay. First stop of the tour. This was That's on the it? top of the list. A much requested work. Yo, I'm going to need some more details on that plot of land. <laughs> Did you? How much does it cost for one of the 60 parcels? So... These 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 connies I couldn't find on OpenSea, so I I don't think they were selling them on there. Again, I, I think a lot of this has been pulled because um, this was like, a, like a little over a month ago that this went mega viral and everybody so started making fun of it. for sale because I really want to know how much they cost. Yeah, well I think some did, but they they were not selling for much. Not not enough to 
to own a house. I think I saw like point. Not enough to buy an island and build 60 <laughs> houses on that? And yeah, develop I don't, it I don't, into a resort? I don't think so. You'd probably need like a billion dollars at least to do all this. Maybe more. To develop a whole island? Working zone. Rehub. Folks approached me saying, Connie, we need somewhere where we can be programming surrounded by palm trees and views to open sea. They were sick of working from tiny offices. Why do that when they can work from paradise? So we built it. Come on in. People are picking up their passes for the event. Tomorrow starts the Crypto Land Blockchain Week. We organize a number of different crypto conferences and meetups year round. Lots of crypto VIPs coming tomorrow. You can feel the entrepreneurial spirit here. You can work, get coffee, and when you get stressed, you can hit up the de stress room. The de stress room? Oh no, yeah, I don't want to know what goes on there. <laughs> I don't want to know what's going After on. After knowing that age of consent comment, Jesus. I don't want the de stress room. room. A pool full of coins? That's insane. Don't be shy. Go ahead and try. Everybody loves it. Uh, Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> if you like this, just wait until you see what's next. <laughs> what are you selling? None of this is going to exist. Clearly, this is just a. F this is just The Sims. This is how you. This, none of this is real. No restaurant. You're gonna love this, Christopher. To the moon! You little bot! <laughs> Jim, any tables available? Well, we can set up the 12 if you want. All righty, here we go! <laughs> Monsieur the auto Oh, Monsieur! <laughs> oh, oh Monsieur! We suggest the 10K Bitcoin Monsieur. Pizza. The atomic swap of lemonade. Freshly Thanks. Seized. Wait, where's my fork? Wait, 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 wait what was that? She served him a th dish that said rat poison and gave him an ominous order book. <laughs> For startups, I would suggest the 10K Bitcoin pizza. The atomic swap of lemonade. Rat poison? Thanks. No. What was that? <laughs> you guys see that? Yeah. I Where's my fork? Oh, and of course, you're gonna love this. There they are. Flash crash soda. The lightning network Not juice. Not sure what was going on there. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Is he getting, is he finding ahead. love? Uh, yeah. on I'm, not, I'm not a fan of forks, you oh. know? Wait, what You're the? You're a little too old for me. Wait, are they going to explain the rat poison thing? <laughs> oh, yo, yo, I... yo, yo. <laughs> Classic. Thanks. And <laughs> Yeah, this is how you know it's a fan because all you guys are virgins. You ain't finding love on no island. You can't even find love in your fucking house. You can't even find love in your goddamn. Wherever the fuck you go. See you around. Wow. I love the animation. See you around. She's all glitching out and shit. Look at her head. I'm not a fan of <laughs> forks, you know? Who's not a fan of forks? That doesn't oh, even make yo, sense. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, yeah, that's a crypto <laughs> reference. Uh, for, forks in the blockchain. Yeah, that's a stupid oh, nerd joke. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. That one I get. Watch your head. Uh, maybe Wait. the rat poison. Enjoy your meal. See you around. <laughs> oh, God, her neck. <laughs> see, see you around. <laughs> Well, you were too busy doing Wait, was the rat poison a joke or something? I, I, they have such a fucking, like, little culty lingo. But wait, that you it could just be something that. Uh, guys, look at this. She, the waiter is trying to kill him. Watch yeah. this. Yeah. Rat poison. And he goes, rat poison? And then the waiter t t gives him an ominous, like, head oh, shake. Yeah, These are all, like, crypto memes. It, it's got to be. Something that is over. So let I me mean, get this uh, straight. Love, do you know by any chance a, a reference to rat poison? Let me get this mm, straight. I can't think of anything. The man went to the restaurant in this utopia, and the waiters are handing out rat poison as appetizers. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett, yeah. right hand man, called Bitcoin quote rat poison to protect casual buyers from crypto losses. Oh well, what does he know? <laughs> what, what does Warren Buffett know about finance? Mm. Thanks. Enjoy your meal. I guess they're, they're dunking on that. Okay, like, but you're still serving rat poison at your restaurant. <laughs> okay, so maybe don't put rat poison on your dishes because I don't want to eat rat poison, even if it's a joke. <sighs> so is he going to fuck her or what? While you were too busy... <laughs> I went ahead and ordered for you a 10k pizza and a bubbly mutant serum for you. Bon appetit! It tastes like beef jerky. You know, Connie, I think I'm falling in love with this place. It's so peaceful. Peaceful? <laughs> if it wasn't for those flying hackers. Watch this. 
Bitcoin? Holy smokes. This is mass adoption at its finest. What's that? That's Cryptoland's walk of fame. Whoa. Follow the crypto stars and you'll get to the moon. <laughs> that was fun. Boy, we are in Crypto Beach and fun is the norm here. Oh, you invest, study the best. Musical and number, we here we go. Let's make a deep dive so we can survive. This is unreal, man. Wanna end like my Mount Gox friend, but enough of swim. Let's go to the proof of work. This yeah. is really you something. Can work out, make the ladies pass out. Lift the aces, like you mine. That thanks to Bitmain, sweet friend of mine. But not everything is pretending. If you this want to have the ending, you will need to combine shocking. body and mind. Got the key. <laughs> Of my wallet, where I hold this is fucking insane, dude. <laughs> this is so crazy, bro. Body and mind got the keys Wait, hang on. of my wallet, <laughs> where I hold crypto. They all have the same face. That's the same exact face. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? Uh, that is the same character model. I actually found the website where they uh, bought the character models from. Oh, you did? Yeah. That's good. I'm not surprised. I can't watch any more of this, but it's good, man. I confirmed that mental t or that tweet too. The mental maturity tweet. Dude, how is that real? Maturity is just a state. <laughs> what did it say? Mental maturity should be more than enough. Smiley face. Holy shit. <laughs> they they apologized for it and said okay. that there was a language barrier barrier. No. No. That's a tra that's a direct <laughs> translation, dude. <laughs> then you should just say eighteen, right? Right. Eighteen. Wow. That's crazy, man. I mean the video really says it all. There's a lot more stuff, but they have a 34 page, 40, 34 pages. <laughs> raised concern about the basic infrastructure of the island. As it pointed out, the basic services like laundry and garbage collection will be housed on the mainland. I mean, obviously this shit ain't, work, ain't happening. Oh, and then there was a drama with Carlos. Because they, they used Carlos on their website. And in this video. Carlos shows up in this video. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I, it's time stamped if you want to just skip to that part right under it. Here, I Hi. highlighted it. They, they still have the video up. This is their original video. It's on their website. Unlisted. Oh, it's unlisted. 3,000 hey, views. Hey. So wait, where's hey, Carlos? Because I didn't watch Wait, no, this thing. is February 20th. They must have re-uploaded it unlisted so that they could embed it on their website. Because there is an original upload that, that's been privated. Yeah, so it is on their website. So the, it seems like it's still on. Where do I find crypto? Because I really don't want to watch this Carlos shit. Carlos at 8 minutes and 8 seconds. Okay. Eight minutes, eight seconds. A casino. Oh my God. This must be a joke. Hey, Christopher, check that out. I bet you haven't seen a pinball better than this one in your entire life. The world is not anymore like it used to be. No, no, no. That was a scam, by the way. It, this thing, you see the, the pinball board is called like scam something or other. Oh. oh, look at all these details. <laughs> Create an account. Deposit your money. Lock it up. Become rich. Involve family and friends. Check your balance. Oh, I love these games. Well, if you like these games, then <laughs> that's a scam. You might want to try Carlos in New York and Ponzi Connect. Well, I kicked Bernie Madoff's ass. Ring, ting, 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 ting. Talk about the kettle calling the pot black. Ooh, ting, ting. <laughs> so, so what happened? Carlos got super pissed that they included him. Yeah, uh, he Carlos tweeted, tweeted about out. It. Now deleted. <laughs> that. Let's see. Friend of the show, Carlos Matos. I guess you never know. And you're dealing with the real Matos or someone who just copied your face onto a new crypto scam. This is the first time I see this and whoever's using my name, brand, or image here is using it without my approval and authorization. <laughs> I will definitely look more into this and bring this dude into justice. They may want to get in contact with me, with me before they hear from me. Yeah, about those IP laws and uh, copyright. Well, he's right in that case. 
No, he is right. Maybe yeah. he learned his lesson from that whole uh, episode with the uh, with the crypto bros when we had them on. That I mean, he doesn't really have much of a case though. Because well, maybe he does. I don't know. But he deleted it. Why? I wonder if they got in touch with him. Uh, maybe. They're like, listen, Carlos, we'll give you a free uh, crypto bro, a crit yeah, Connie. But... We'll give you a free Connie <laughs> yeah, if you re- remains the tweet. <laughs> And all of a sudden, Carlos is like, Connie's are changing the world! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, speaking of which, almost done with this, but Gary Vee's been going on and on about his NFT restaurant in New York in 2023. It's in seafood-inspired Sly Fish Club, will be a members-only dining club, and members can be verified using an NFT. So here's the thing. The restaurant... Is an upscale restaurant. You still have to pay for it. How the fuck a restaurant going to survive? It, dude, you're in New York City. Do you know how many good restaurants there are? Who's going to buy a crypto just to eat at your fucking mediocre restaurant? The first NFT restaurant. You mean it's just a normal restaurant? Fly Fish. The world's first members-only private dining club. I mean, this is just chutzpah. This is just... <laughs> It's just such... By early 2023, I think this shit will be gone by then. V Friends will be totally collapsed by the time this date comes around. He's going to look like such an idiot. Perhaps. Or no one will remember and he'll just have made hundreds of millions of dollars. Right. Which is more likely. I just can't believe people let this guy shill on their shows, like, everywhere. Uh, And we're announcing this morning... Uh, yeah, it's like you said, A.B., he used to be all about self-help and just stuff. Now he's just all about crypto and keep making out with his dad. <laughs> and thinking about killing his family. And, kill, and killing everyone he loves. Yeah. Uh, Every- we're launching the first NFT restaurant, a membership restaurant. Uh, we've seen these executions uh, in the city and in other major cities. But the punchline is a very modern restaurant where the token is the access to the membership and to your uh, table. But unlike, let's say, a Rayos where you own the table, the table and the access is ownable by you and transferable on the blockchain. So this is going to come out in fall 2022. Uh, BCRgroup.com How slash NFT. How is that a, a significant wanna... distinction from just a country club or a restaurant that has a membership fee? It's, it's this, Yeah, it's the same thing. It's just a membership fee. And that's the, all, like, I still, I said this on the show last week, or whenever the fuck it was, but, like, show me a use case for this shit that is actually new. Because it's just, they're just reinventing the wheel over and over again. Like, well, if this is the best thing he can come up with, they're yeah. in big trouble. An <laughs> NFT restaurant. And you know he's, like, the guy. He's thinking about it. Sure. He's Mr. Ideas. And I'm... I'm open to it. I, I, I will happily admit I'm wrong if somebody can explain to me, you know, here's something you can do with this technology that's, that's novel, that wasn't possible to do before, that actually makes sense. Because I hear a lot of people propose things that are novel, but usually upon examination, it, it's kind of shaky. Is I'm honestly saying it? as of January, they raised $14 million for it. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's not enough to open. Well, maybe it is actually. Dude, there's no way they're going to be able to operate. There's no way, dude. This thing's going to be as successful as Triller, I'm telling you. I'm just gonna, I don't think it will ever open, frankly. So. I think it's going to be hit. I'm just going to go out there and say that. I'm, I'm, going with, the grain. I'm with you, love. I'm not saying I agree with it, but I do think it's going to I don't yeah, think it's same. even going to happen. Hmm. I don't Trust even me. think it's going to open. I'm not I mean, confident are gonna one way be, or another. If become so much bigger soon, uh, it's horrible, but it's going to happen. Hmm. Me and Love will send you dinosaurs a Better picture. Better hope the food's good. <laughs> Are they going to have a de-stress uh, a chamber there, like on Crypto Lamp? <laughs> of course. Of course. Nah, I don't know. U.S. jurisdiction. It's a little What's the age of consent shaky. in this yeah, restaurant? <laughs> New York State. I don't know. <laughs> I don't see it, man. I don't think this place is ever going to open. You know? We'll see. So is this for V friends or a new, you have to get a new crypto for this restaurant specifically? The way that he was pitching it on that clip, it seemed like it was a new thing, but maybe he's integrating it with his V friends thing. Or maybe he really hasn't gotten that far and 
thinking it out. I don't know. I'm, I'm not no, I guess, I guess sure. you just Wait, said so that they sell, They already raised a bunch of money from it, right? So they must be selling these. Hold somewhere. on. Someone said Crypto Land thing is all satire. The coin's name is Connie. Uh, is that, that possible? Was, that was the initial understanding of a lot of people, but it that turned out to be incorrect. Uh, this, <laughs> it's real. It is real. Scam. But how can you answer what's the age of consent and say... As long what as I was trying to say, like they're like trying to be self-aware, like make a meme out of it. So we're like dink doink, but yeah, but you don't joke about that, man. Well, unless it's a massive troll. The people in this space aren't oftentimes the uh, very self-aware. Yeah, not very self-aware. Ah. Well, I'll be curious to see what happens with the NFT restaurant. I'd love to pay, and knowing knowing Gary Vee, it's going to be like a hundred thousand dollars or some shit. They just get a fucking seat. I can't wait to go to the NFT restaurant, guys. I'm seeing that starting rates for membership uh, were around 2.5 Ethereum or around 8,200 for unlimited access. Why would you pay for the, for the privilege of eating at a mediocre restaurant? In New York City of all places, it's just nonsense. It's fucking outrageously dumb. I don't know. We'll see. Should we take a poll? Will this ever happen? I think that's the first question. We'll leave it open. You talking about his restaurant? Yeah. I mean. I mean, he has the means. Okay, whatever. I'm over it. Bye. <laughs> oh, no. Emma Chamberlain quits YouTube. Oh, no. <laughs> it feels so funny to talk about it after all that shit. <laughs> it's just for the title, guys. Yeah. I like Emma. Uh, she's, she's a non-problematic queen. After two months of not posting, Emma Chamberlain. Somebody's gonna. Somebody. She has no, she no Emma has I, I, not no. Not that I know of, but I don't she know. has no controversy. Every time I feel like I feel like you you uh, you no, jinx it by any time you say that. <laughs> she's the one. She's the chosen. Actually, one. she murdered her sister. So good job, Ethan. Find one bad thing about her, <laughs> AB. I dare you. <laughs> Go ahead, AB's looking. Unproblematic queen Emma Chamberlain. Uh, as in now she's stepping away from YouTube and choosing to focus on other ventures for her mental health. She states that she may come back, but it have to be very different from what she's doing now. You know, Emma's really tr uh, transcended, I have to say. She's really just become like a model or a, how would you say, socialite even. Because she's just doing like uh, all might... this culture stuff. And I'm pretty sure she's making like bank, just working with brands and stuff in fashion. Mm-hmm. So, good for her, you know. Here she, oh, here she Look at that, somebody's, em, Emma robbed one of our fans at gunpoint, dude. It's a good job. Fruit picks or didn't happen. <laughs> for the past four years, not a week has gone by where I have not thought about YouTube. When you think about something, from the time that you wake up to the time that you go to bed, every single day, it takes a toll on you. It takes a huge toll on you. When something is that all-consuming, burnout is completely inevitable. Throughout those four years of me creating YouTube videos, I've dealt with burnout time and time again. My anxiety and depression would start to kind of creep in again. Whenever that would happen, I would look at myself in the mirror and say, you're not allowed to feel burnt out because you have the easiest job in the world. Anytime I would hit burnout, I would bully myself through it, basically. I wouldn't ever let myself take a break longer than a week. And I just kept pushing through because I was like, you know what? I have no excuse. And on top of that, the narrative around being a YouTuber is that you have to upload once a week minimum or else you will become irrelevant quicker than you can say the ABC is, baby. You will be done. Some weeks, I'm sad. And some weeks, I don't want people to see my face. Some weeks, I want to just be silent and quiet and cozy in my bed. And I don't want to have to, you know, leave. Every creator's been through this, you know? Yeah. If it's about burnout, it should be back. It's good to take a break, you know? My solution to burnout, man, it was just me and Ela making, like, these high production level reaction videos. It was so bad because the problem with that stuff is every week, it's like, what am I making? I need something to inspire me. And it's like, bro, you cannot rush inspiration. 
And then sometimes you settle and you're like, listen, I got to make a video this week. This video that I'm going to react to isn't that great, but I got to make a video. And then everyone in the comments is like, not as good, dude. Falling off, bro. Not as good. Last month videos were a hit. This month, I don't know what's happening. And it's this constant uh, judgment versus strut. I mean, I've been there, man. It's horrible. The podcast changed everything. I don't worry about what I'm making every week. And that has made all the difference in the world where I can make three videos, three podcasts every week, show up with a smile on my face. Right, guys? I show up with a smile on my face. Yeah. You come in very friendly. You, well, most days you do, yeah. <laughs> and then it Thank slowly you. You're a human. Fade. I was you know. saying, uh, I, that wasn't always the case, though, man. I used to be fucking, ooh, it was just struggles, bro. Struggles. So true. I get the pain, you know? Yep. I get it. These glasses have changed my life. And the way that Emma, I don't know if you guys are, <laughs> I don't know if you guys are familiar with the way she makes content, but she makes it in the same way. She posts like a video about something every week. And that's like impossible to, to maintain. Really is hard. 52 videos a year. That's why the most successful YouTubers are people like PewDiePie with the longevity. Because it's like, you can make a video about anything you want. I mean, it's still hard to find topics, don't get me wrong. You make a video about anything you want. You make one every day. You don't worry too much about, like, everything is kind of a fleeting, right? It's like, hey, I make a video, I move on to the next day. Mm -hmm. If you can't do that, you're not going to survive in the long term in this business. In this business, not going to survive. Yeah, I don't know how Casey went every day for those two years. That's wild with vlogging. I mean, he definitely talked about experiencing burnout, but... Yeah, Casey probably almost ruined his whole family forever doing that. Damn, it makes a lot of stress. Got to record all day, edit at night. He's a one-man show. Yeah, it was crazy. I don't know. That was. That, I agree. That was nuts. I was really like, how does he see his kids and his wife and do anything? And then I, he had him on the show, and he's like, oh, yeah, I sleep three hours a day. I was like, bro, you need a life. Is that why you sleep so little? Because you're standing Casey? <laughs> you asked me that in the first episode. It's my the, first episode. It's got to be true. No, man, it's not I, why. I mean, the reason I like like Casey in the first place is I saw a lot of similarities and. Uh, oh yeah, you guys, you guys, basically the same person. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Who are you more similar, me or Casey? <laughs> uh, next question. It's Casey. I know the answer. I don't need you to be like me. You don't want to be like me. The less you're like me, the better. Just <laughs> well, in general. Well, I you think. don't sleep either. Is that I Casey? sleep. I mean, I wake up really late. Right, but I true. Sleep. Yeah, true. No, I sleep. That's true. This man sleeps. You do sleep. Oh, I sleep. I'm not doing that three hour a day bullshit. I'm on that elder ring grind, but I need sleep to perform. True. By the way, speaking of elder ring, I got 40 strength, and now I'm able to dual weld two colossal great swords, Dan. Sick. Damn, They're so it's heavy. Dual wielding colossal great swords, yeah. my doggy. And I, dude, I hit one hit Five. is like 600 damage. Jesus. I one hit everything. What and a, by the way, I have to be naked because they weigh too much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm butt ass naked with two colossal great swords. <laughs> That's hilarious. It be what it be. It do what it do. Anyway, shout out to Emma. You'll get through it, Queen. You couldn't find one controversy, could you? Stupid shit, no. Exactly. She didn't talk to the Dolan brothers for some dumb shit like that. The house There's a lot of extravagant. people in the chat that seem to have had first-hand experience with her doing <laughs> oh, all kinds really? of problematic like stuff. Like she threw coffee in the face yes, of exactly. someone at Starbucks? Yeah, there's all kinds of things. Yeah, I have the gut sword. I have one ultra-long greatsword and one, the other one is the, uh, the grafted greatsword. Uh, apparently Emma was the one that gave Cam COVID. Uh, Emma took a shit on their front lawn. That can't uh, be true. Emma hit a deer. Um, that can't be true, you guys. Emma punched me in the face and then stole my wallet and spat on me. Wow. I heard she set a like, car on fire. That can't be true, you guys. Emma is actually Vladimir Putin's uh, personal assistant. No, 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 no. Uh, Emma just drank... This person's coffee? She just reached over the no, table? No, 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 no. That's, that's oh, here's one. Emma that can't is be thrust. true. Emma's Emma's thrust? Thrust? Oh, well, well, that's good. That. We stand that. That I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Emma stole my cat. Emma ate my cat. Holy wow. shit. People want me to play Elden Ring on stream. I feel like it'd just be so boring because the way I play is just... 
I don't feel like it's interesting to watch the way I play. I, I like. I just don't think that that game is necessarily that great of a streamer game. It's not. It's really slow general. pace for the most part. You're dying and redoing shit like a million times in case certain <sighs> cases. I mean, that was the Farming. case with the that was the case with the older games too. But they were they were more linear and it, it like the progress was more consistent. This game is so much about just like kind of doing it at your own pace and exploring yeah. and stuff. And I don't know if it's necessarily interesting for people to watch. I I think it would be so fun to watch you play. Right. You want to see me, my naked ass dual wielding guts, boy? <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, you guys, it's fun to see the frustration live too, because I know you you be frustrated. <laughs> you see, there was a, a website published an article about Hassan being bad at the game. <laughs> Really? Is he really bad at it? I no, mean, I don't think so. But like, he he got he like rage quit at one point, and like there, this website literally published an article about it. That's like, awesome. Streamer Hassan rage quits Elden Ring because he's getting his ass. What a loser! Yeah, I like, have not rage quit once. In fact, I think the first time I got really frustrated and was like, "Fuck!" was last night when uh, just it's not even to a boss. It's some dumb. You're like deep in a dungeon and then some dumb fucking trash mob kills you because mm. they catch you in a combo. That should piss me off. <laughs> Look, he tweeted about it. Bro, how is this an article? Click it. Let's see. Hassan rage quits Elder Ring after repeatedly dying to non-boss <laughs> enemy. <laughs> Gamerant.com. What a weird thing that would be. Like as somebody who, you know, grew up playing video games, it, it just imagine having people write articles about you sucking at it. <laughs> <laughs> or like getting your ass Scroll down, let's really uh, uh, This is just click. It's just clickbait shit, good. of course. They're, they're yeah. getting clicks. This probably shows well, up in my... Well, he tweeted it. Yeah, this shows up in my news... I mean, fuck Ukraine, right? This is how you get clicks, man. <laughs> Write then, an article. Ethan comments on Hassan sucking at <laughs> Elden Ring. <laughs> oh. Fuck your mom. How about that? Um, but my build is so crazy, like, I have 40 endurance and 40 strength. That's where all of my points are. I have no health. <laughs> I have no magic. It's all just green bar and strength. Because you need, like, a bajillion endurance just to be able to hold those items. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. Because each of them weighs, like, you know, over 20 pounds. Well, that's the beauty, isn't Wait, it? Wait, so you're level 80? Is that how that works? I, guess I you must have, be, yeah, at least. Close to it. Holy shit. It must be. He's getting up there. Um, yeah, I had to farm a lot to be able to do a well, but it's <laughs> worth it, bro. It's so sick. It's so sick. It's so satisfying. I'm actually seeing that um, Emma plays a mage build. Mm. That's okay. Just not oh, a bad I was trying thing. to add that to the problematic. No, uh, it's not problematic. <laughs> you're always talking shit about mages. <laughs> Only when you do it, because you're the one, you're the one that's <laughs> supposed to be the pro gamer. Playing melee is way harder. Oh, mage yeah. is easy mode. I'm not playing as a mage, though. Yeah, you are. You use magic. I'm, I don't use magic. I'm, do, I'm, my, I'm using the, the, the melee magic ability. Because Guts was just a human, Dan. What don't you understand? <laughs> Guts didn't have access to magic. He was just a mere human. <laughs> that's what I am. Like uh, Batman. Right. Mm. Well, that's cool, man. That's really cool. Happy I'm for surprised you. how many gamers there are in our community. I didn't know. <laughs> well, anyway, I think it's the best game ever. The best open world game since Breath of the Wild. It might even be better than Breath of the Wild. I just, I'm in lo I love it. It's amazing. It's the, and I'm glad you guys started playing too. You guys got the bug, right? We're yeah. all, yeah, all in on it. But you guys now, Cameron and Love and Av, you guys have the, so much ahead of you because once you beat Elden Ring, you get to go back and play Dark Souls and Bloodborne, which are just as good. Really? Yeah, I'm down. I don't think I will. <laughs> you don't think what? I don't think I can play these kinds of games. Ruins me. They're it's too emotional too for emotional. you. I I rage quit maybe ten times a night and I like go to bed and watch on YouTube and then you guys talk about it and I'm like fuck I Fine. gotta do that. That is that is. I don't. I think you. That is the soul's experience. Right I think there. you, after playing the other ones so much, I think I've just transcended. Like I get what the game is. Yeah. I mm -hmm. I know what to expect. I know I'm gonna fucking die. It breaks lose you a down. Tons of soul. <laughs> it breaks your spirit. I mean, eventually. this game is even easier because they've got those. Marika statues or whatever that you can spawn at, like yeah. at boss fights. In the previous games, you could only spawn at campfires, which were super fucking far away from the boss. They almost always have one right by the boss too. Yeah, that 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 is a. 
huge help. I'm saying in the previous games, you you got to run a fair amount to get to the boss. Yeah. And, and then if you, you walk fucking in and die, you die there's like a really good <laughs> chance you're not getting those souls back. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I never got past like the first uh, level of Dark Souls. Was it Dark Souls or Demon Souls that I had? Demon uh, Souls. Demon Souls. Yeah. yeah. I'd no, say dude. I'd say the previous ones is more hardcore in that way, but the bosses are easier, mm. in a sense. Well, then again, I didn't really know how to play, so I don't. Know, maybe if I go back. Yeah, easier. you would. You would. It, is, it plays the same way. Yeah. Same way. Yo, problematic. Another problematic thing Emma's done. She hasn't touched Grace. Touch Grace. She hasn't touched Grace. Maidenless. Do you read that? <laughs> Do you read that as touch grass every time? Touch Grace. No. When you when you get to a new thing, it pr has a prompt that says "touch grace." No, I never. And I feel like it's, I feel like it's subtly telling me to stop. Like you need to, you've been playing for six hours straight. You need to go touch grass right now. People want me to stream Elden meme. Elden meme. I don't know. It's just my special time, you guys. Special time. I gotta say, I'm not even. I'm not even. Um fighting enemies right now. I'm just running around looking at stuff in the game because it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah. Very pretty every area is very unique. It's awesome. And exploring is so fun. There's always something interesting to do mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. By the way, I have to, my Tourette's goes crazy when I play video games, so it's not. It's really awful to watch because I'm always looking up. I have this tick where I look up in the corner, so I'm always like looking up like that. It's uh. really bad experience for the to watch. It's quite annoying for me too, but sure. even more for you. So anyway, Queen El uh, Queen Emma. Shout outs. Uh, to the queen. Or whatever. She'll be back, like you said. She gets good views, man, just doing like little vlogs. Pretty crazy. She's popular. Yeah, good for her. You know? But here's the big news. Jeffree Star reunites with Shane Dotson, baby. The boys are back in town. <laughs> Jeffree Star reunited with Shane Dawson after not being seen in years at his skincare launch party. Hollywood Reporter asked Jeffree Star questions about being canceled. Exciting, exciting, guys. This is huge news. Look at this. Jeffree Star in that... He's in that... Uh, the shoulders are giving me... Who was the, the, the evil queen in Snow White? Is, it, is she just called the the evil? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a Dis enough he, of a Disney. He's head giving to, me Evil Queen from Snow White. Grim Hildy. Maleficent. Who the hell's? Oh, the Snow Queen, maybe? No, Maleficent was from Sleeping Beauty. Grim Hildy. Queen. Grim I just, Hildy. I just contradicted. I said I'm not a Disney head, but I do know that. <laughs> right? Or Maleficent. Snow White. Sleep. Whatever. The fair mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Yeah, I don't. I know what you're talking about. Jeffrey Star asked the mirror that. They're like, Snow not you, bitch. White, oh, evil. the Wicked Queen from the what? Snow White. Evil Queen. Her name queen. is literally Evil Queen. Okay, Evil Queen. <laughs> Giving me Evil Queen from Snow White. Also known as the Wicked Queen. Hmm. Wow, a lot of background. <laughs> Jesus. That's a lot of background. <laughs> the lore we get it. Deep. Lore runs deep. The Wicked Queen was reimagined into the Marvel Universe. Somebody said her name is Emma. No, stop it. <laughs> how dare you. How was it seeing Shane? Oh Dude, it looks like he's wearing a green screen outfit. <laughs> God, so Shane's here tonight. Right, I noticed that. He never that. leaves the house and you're about to see him. We're actual real best friends. Uh -huh. and even through all the drama and craziness, we always have each other's back. That's not what Trisha told me. That's a reliable source. <laughs> well, she was friends with all of them. No yeah. comment further than that. So, really? He's that here to support, and he hasn't left the house in two years. <laughs> did you guys have a falling out before? No, nope, we never did. Yeah. You never did? Uh, I think Not what I heard. Giving me Ruby Ross? Yeah. Ruby Ross was awesome, though. Ruby Rod, yeah. Ruby Rod. Such a player, dude. Love Fifth Element. I assume that because there was so much chaos a few years yeah. ago, but we're perfect, yeah. Do you think that you would ever be back friends with anyone that you've had falling outs with? <sighs> if they ever want to apologize, let me know. <laughs> really? Okay, okay, all okay, right. all right. How have you guys been? <laughs> you know what? Really good. 
<laughs> I'm doing good. Good. Yeah. How are you doing mentally? <laughs> are you mentally doing okay? How how was okay, the move? Not to make a joke. Um, no jokes. Uh, yeah, I'm doing really good. Okay. You're doing well. I haven't. Seen, I don't think I've ever seen you and Jeffrey together in the same spot ever. So you thought we were the same person? No, I'm saying I haven't seen you to, <laughs> you together. How was it? How was it? You know. You would never fit in that dress, Shane. You're not the same person. He made that joke, to be fair. Just saying. He self. He wait. He said made that joke. Didn't he say in a fat suit or something? We're the same person in a oh, fat suit. Oh, he did. Yeah. I haven't. Seen, I don't think I've ever seen you and Jeffrey together in the same spot ever. So. Oh, not the same person. No, I'm saying I haven't seen you. Him to, in a fat suit. You okay, in a fat suit. Yeah. Very Just good. Just saying. Very good. Just saying. Together. How was it? How was it? You know, seeing Jeffrey. Mm -hmm. Um, great. I don't know. Everything is very weird right now. Cause mm -hmm. yeah, I guess I haven't left the house. Well, yeah, I leave the house now, but to go to like Target. So this yeah. are you, are you gonna come back? Are you gonna start making stuff again? I mean, is is there? That's what I'm. I mean, he already did. He is making stuff. Is, I mean, can you move on after being canceled, or like, how does that work? Uh, I don't know, I guess. Yeah, I hope so. I don't know. Like, I like making stuff. And... So, are you on TikTok? No. <laughs> no, are you are you doing anything social media related or YouTube related or anything? Yeah, I'm going to start posting more videos randomly. I guess. Randomly? I don't know. Do you get, when you post, do you get, are like good comments or do people hate on you? <laughs> or like? <laughs> um, I don't, I, I read a little bit. Uh -huh. And then he'll tell me, he'll say they're nice. So then I'll look and I'll reply. But yeah, people, okay. I, I feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm in a good place. I'm happy. And if people are, you know, it is what it is. And I'm happy. Oh. Okay, well that's good. Yeah, I'm just are you friends with James Charles? I really thought you were gonna say Jamie Lynn, and I was Jamie say, Lynn. No, no. Don't dodge the question. I'm just Listen, curious. I'm not trying to get canceled again. Okay. Jamie, I don't know. I'm not a part of that. I don't you don't know. Because James, like, he got canceled, too, and I talked to him, <laughs> and he kind of bounced I, back. At this point, who has it? You know what I mean? Uh-uh, don't do that. Nobody I been canceled for, like, what you guys been canceled for. I said some naughty words. Y'all tried to fuck some kids. Jesus. <laughs> what, well, Shane? Shane just made no, jokes, he didn't. right? He didn't. I was just, I was just being James right. is a different story. Yeah, James. James <laughs> did do that. <laughs> Oh uh, I was thinking, like, you know, now that James has been canceled, you all have probably a lot more in common to talk about. <laughs> oh, you know, God. maybe they're closer than ever. Wow, sister snapped. The fact that James Charles has a career and is still posting is truly an everyday baffle. It's just, it's incredible. <laughs> uh, it's gross. Uh, uh, oh, man. <laughs> Right. Getting back in there, you know, you can always block comments and or just leave them turned off. Okay. <laughs> do you think he should start posting again, or what do you think? He is. He just came back. You did. Okay, so I'm behind on I this. Post randomly, randomly. Randomly. What, what did you do with your old videos? Do you, Do you put them on private? Do you delete ask them? a lot of questions, man. Do Walk away, bro. I don't know why he's standing. Like, yeah, go have dinner or some shit. I don't know what the fuck this. <laughs> he's like brigading him, like. I think it's planned. So, so, yeah, and they have I, some plans. history. Um, I want to do this, you guys. The reporter's been to Shane's house before. Oh, really? Yeah. You you want to uh, have the paparazzi come up and this guy and accost you like this? Well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can just reach oh, out. Oh, you kept saying we got to go to the saddle ranch and have this guy meet us. There. Yeah, you could just, and I think you could just reach out to them and be like, I think oftentimes that is what goes on. Can we on. stage a fight or something? <laughs> I don't think you even have to do that. I think you can literally DM them and be like, I'm going to be at this restaurant tonight. No, we DM I, I, them, have them come up and stage a fight or something. Oh, and then get I in. feel like if we DM them, they may leak the information to some people. Um, Who was going to show up for us? Who were they leaking There's to? a few people we're open for us. talking about it on the show. Oh, right you think that they would tell like someone like, oh, Ethan's going to be here if you want to meet him? I got a hot tip. Who's going to, like who? Like Face Blanks. Jeff? Face Blanks is going to show up. Face Blanks. Jeff already follows our every move, so. He's not who do you think who do you think would show up to fight me or something? Who wouldn't show up? No, I'm kidding. I don't know. Mm. We have Face we, we burn a few bridges here and there. Yeah, we Fox do do that. Bitch. <laughs> I think Emma Chamberlain might show up. That's true. My bridge is intact with Emma. She's queen, unproblematic. I'd fight Shane. Shane's one person I'd fight. I'm not a fighter. I don't have physical <laughs> prowess, but I feel like I could fuck up Shane. <laughs> 
think he's just equally w more wussy than me. I, yes. Did yes, you sorry. did YouTube uh, demonetize your account? Yeah, but I don't. I'm listen, and I'm. Uh, I know you, so I don't want to be one of those people. Yeah. Also, nobody cares. But also, I am really happy. And I'm happy. I think they they probably demonetized him for like two weeks and brought it back. That's what they usually do. So Shane and, Je and Jeffrey are launching makeup. And James Charles is making videos. I love that, though. You can't be like, yo, we've all been canceled. Yo, that, come on now. Something like I, I tweeted out a weird meme. Like, well, and as, we, as we always say, I mean, with few exceptions, these cancellations, so to speak. I mean, I'm going to his channel right now. His last video two weeks ago, 3.2 million views. I mean, the guy, like, what does you it really mean to be... Cancellation is fake. What, do you, what does it mean to be canceled when you're still putting out content that's getting... Dude, James The one before Charles, that, 4 million views. James Charles literally admit to being a predator. He said, and, and, and to paraphrase, I am a predator. Right. And he's still posting and getting millions of Five views. Five days ago, 1.1. 1. 1, I mean... Down his a lot. Is, and his his is down a lot more than Shane's. But again, like you were just saying, I mean, it's like what James did is hey, it's just really fucking bad. <laughs> so, Crypto land shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would date like the absolute youngest. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. This fucking guy. This fucking guy. I'm not physically attracted to older guys. <laughs> God. And that's what he's admitting on a public podcast, my dudes. Those sound bites, man. Oof. Have a seat over here, uh, James. <laughs> it's still so crazy that exists. James Charles, I have the uh, DMs here. Why don't you have a seat? Listen up here. It says, it says, I'm not 18. And you say, well, that's okay. That's a good age. It says, I'm 15. That's a good age, you said. Did you bring condoms? That's a good age to be. Did you bring condoms? <laughs> hey. Rollo Tony Brown Town. Check yourself right at the door. Rollo Tony, Ethan, you guys remember? Yes, we remember. <laughs> and all of us in this office have not been able to get that song out of our head for the last like three days it's like, like getting to literally the every single one of us and we all hate it but we can't stop i've We've been singing it i'm sorry dan not to interrupt but i fucking love it but yes i can't get it out of my head well i think it's a great little tune but i hate that i can't stop singing it wait cam posted this dm i sent you Fair. guys at 1 a.m shoots ice <laughs> i got a fucking dagger that shoots ice it's sick wait i, I want sword. that I don't even remember. It was hard to find. It was in some weird secret place. Shoots ice. No, it doesn't even cost magic. You just swing it and it shoots ice. That's sick. I yeah, need that for, for my... That sounds a lot like magic. It doesn't use magic. Does and it shoot something? And guess what the Is fuck? Is it a blade? I don't use it. I was just... Projectiles. <laughs> I have never killed one monster with the damn before you start getting up and getting all tense. I have never used it. I was only showing well, you Well, I guys. would use that because that's sick. Yeah, because you're a pussy. That shit's sick. I don't give a shit. Sick. Whatever. Anyway. Roll up Tony Brown Town. Check yourself right at the door. <laughs> you know you want some Rolos. You know you gotta give me some more of those Rolos. Yeah, so Roll up Tony Brown Town, he was the guy that... Um, <laughs> The fresh and fit guys are trying to bring on to debate. Yeah. And then he starts beefing with me, talking about Rolo is saying that I don't want to debate him because I'm scared. Rolo claims to hardly know who Ethan is and says the real reason he doesn't want to debate is because he would wipe the floor with him. I don't fucking want to debate you because I don't care. I don't know who you are. And I, I, yeah, why I, is he making the argument? Like, that yeah, was, I'm that wanted, was the I don't, I, I want to no talk to fresh and fit. Everyone who has beef with you says that at first I, I i roughly know who he is what's his name Ethan. E oh yeah e who what's his name ethan they klein? can't pronounce your name for some reason yeah but. ethan klein <laughs> uh. why do they do that i don't i don't know i think because he has a smaller uh, platform maybe he feels intimidated i don't know what the hell it is but why do they gotta act like they don't know who i am so here he so, is. Kevin Here's Rolo Tony Browntown, who in this video reveals he's 52 years old, and the dude has a chin strap, bro, and it's gray. 
and a ponytail. Stop. <laughs> this is the red pill godfather. I, uh, this is one of the first times of me seeing a picture of him because some of the pictures online have short hair. He looks like he could be in like a death metal band or something like yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Like Lamb of God or like one of those. He's got that vibe. Well, that's cool. I guess. <laughs> But when you learn out he's a pickup coach, does that is that cool? <laughs> I just he doesn't he doesn't look like a pickup coach type guy. He's fifty two, man. You're supposed to This is not an old man's game. Red pill is not an old man's game. I mean it should be no man's game, let's be fair. <laughs> so here is Rolo Tony Browntown, who invited himself on our show <laughs> to the point where he's like, No, I don't want to talk to him. That's stupid. Here he is responding to me not wanting to talk to his dumb ass. Who gets 50,000 views per video. I don't care about him. He's not on my radar. Nobody cares about you, Rolo. Dave sent me this the other day, and um, I am only peripherally aware of a guy. You invited yourself on my show instead of coconuts in Barbados. Which he has some choice words for. Yeah, uh, he's Mr. called coconuts. coconuts and dumb, which is <laughs> what we suspected. <laughs> Ethan, uh, what the hell is his name? Ethan Klein. Oh my God! It's Ethan. the exact same fucking energy. It was uh, was it Crowder that did that? Yeah, Crowder. There's been a few Ethan, people, but yeah, Crowder Ethan, did it. Ethan, 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 Ethan. What's his name? Ethan, Ethan, Dan, Dan, Ethan, Dan. Kalian, Kalian, Ethan, Kalian. Possibly doesn't know who I am. Ethan. Which is fine. He invited himself on my show, though. He knows damn well who I am. Right. It's fine to not know who we are. It, most people don't. Most people in this world don't know who we are, so that's that's perfectly fine. But like you said, it, he, he he inserted himself into this conversation. Yeah. Rolo Tony. Oh, he does have a guitar in the back, Zach. Yeah. And that I, is definitely a metal guitar. So. Yeah, and the, I, the if, chin if, strap, the the great chin strap. <laughs> and I'm just noting this, it, noticing this. It looks like he's wearing a Lamb of God shirt. Not to shit on the band, but. Oh, oh he, my God, he might be. So is that, a ba is that a bad one? I don't know. No, I'm just saying he looks the part. That's okay. all I'm saying. Just making an observation. Did you really not? Well, you can't see it, but no, it he's does right. look like it. No, he's right. It says Lamb of God. <laughs> I'm sure I'm of it. I'm just noticing this. Holy shit. <laughs> but what is the hilarious. significance of that? No, I, I, it's, just he nailed, it's just that he nailed his whole vibe. Like, yeah. yeah, if, yeah. Got like, it. Just, you, just one look at him. And can he, I ask you, knew. do you think he's bald with a pony? Because I always thought that look was interesting. He's wearing a hat. So... I mean, he, he might have he, the, he, he might be bald with a pony, which is a killer look, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, he, he could have might have a keep. Can you cut a picture I mean, of Rolo Tony Browntown, uh, male pattern baldness? Rolo Tony Brown. <laughs> Wait, what? What is his actual? <laughs> I was googling Rolo Tony. What's his actual fucking? Rolo Tomasi. <laughs> Rolo Tomasi. Hey, Cam's got some. Okay. Let's check right. that hairline, bro. The real reason why you hate me. Is because my fucking hairline is insane, dude. <laughs> what is this you um, sent me? Uh, is this that's not him, is it? I know. I think that is. That is him. Yeah. The reason Cam sent that is because that's one of the only photos of him without a hat. But he doesn't have a ponytail in this one, so this must be like ancient. Wait, what? Or new? Or what? Oh, look. Because he looks old as fuck in this. But then he, how much time would he have to grow a whole ponytail? Maybe take, his hair grows fast. Uh, that take what? How long does it take to grow a whole ponytail, Zach? A few, few years, years, right? I mean, yeah, like that. Too. Depends on the years. person. Yeah. Take but you I mean, about he's a month. been around. His hairline looks okay. I'm not gonna hate. His hairline looks pretty good. All those red pills, man. It's hair growth. <laughs> oh my God, Stefan Molinex. Right. Yeah. That really mean, tells you everything you need to know, isn't it? Check the Discord. Check the Discord. He says. Check. Check the Discord. Holy shit, bro. Oh, wow. Wow, that's the red pill god that wants to come on our show. <laughs> that man is walking death. He's fucking Voltori. This guy's in hospice care, man. I feel like every photo of him, he looks wildly uh, Dude, different. What age. is this, bro? He kind of looks like Glenn Danzig a little bit. Goth Bra Brazzo? Uh, he does, Goth Brazzo? He's giving me Brazzo with the guru shit. Hmm. Yo, he looks like the the Ice King from from he, Lord of the, from fucking Game of Thrones. He's so pale. People saying he might an old. His hair might be fake. No, no, you don't think so. How does he have long hair? He's got short hair. He's got a ponytail. <laughs> the ponytail's Something connected to the back of his sense. hat. You can't tell because of the hat. The hat. Something is, doesn't you know. make sense here. Yeah. But 
All that being said, good hairline, actually. Good hairline. Yeah. It is a good hairline. Good hairline. For somebody in their 50s. Can't please on a Can't hate. So so. Anyway, well, let's watch Rolo Tony Brown Town. Uh, talk about me. How does he, he looks so different. In every picture. I feel like everything I'm seeing of him, I feel like it's a different guy. It's, it is very strange. That's why I'm Are not you even alien. real? I, I didn't recognize him. Like, it's, it's weird. Okay, let's watch. Ethan. Wait, wait, here he goes. Say my Hi, name. Ethan. How are you? My name is Rolo Tomasi. Don't care. <laughs> wait, wait. You hear how he clicks his... <laughs> non-stop. My name is Rolo Tomasi. I didn't ask for you. you. You asked to come on my show. I don't need an introduction. I don't want an introduction. I'm going to watch it, though. And uh, apparently... What did you say here? I am not a troll. You're not a troll. I'm not a troll. I want you guys to see things through the lens of a prophecy. Okay, well, thank you very much. Uh, what? Okay, hey, here you go. Here's I think he's problems. bouncing off the chat. Yeah. She's not a Christian! There you go. All right. Good drops. <laughs> so I want to introduce you to this guy. Uh, now, if you are familiar with H3, uh, the H3 podcast, it's a big He just called me H3. He knows who I am. Ethan Klein, say my name. Hmm. It's certainly bigger than him. I think he's got more subs than Tim Pool, so he's definitely not a farm league podcast. I had no idea that Myron was. Tim Pool is his idea of the biggest name in the space, by the way. Definitely bigger than Tim Pool. Even talking about this guy, I'm only, like I said, I'm only peripherally aware of the dude because I think he was talking shit about Michaela Peterson at some point. Maybe somebody, it may, might have come up in my my twitter feed I, I i don't know who the dude honestly i have no clue who this guy was until like myron made a big deal out of him and said hey you want to go on this guy's podcast and he really wanted me to go with him and it's in los angeles so it's not too far from where i'm at i mean probably be there in like you know just a quick flight down from reno <clears throat> And um, <laughs> reno and i'm like oh sure i would love to do that i think i i met you weren't invited to not to defend this guy but he just gets a message from yeah, the fucking sure. Fresh and Fit guy sure. and like come do like he's like okay yeah sure I'll do that sure you know sure it's more on the Fresh and Fit right guys up. being fucking idiots yeah than, than they weren't him. yeah totally mentioned something about it um, on my last show or my last interview on Fresh and Fit which was back in actually beginning of this month um, and I said it will be a great day when Myron and myself can actually go on the same podcast and, and sort of go head to head with whoever, right? Because I mentioned that because I'm Rolo and because I'm a white guy, I can only go certain places. And because Myron is Myron and he's a red pill guy and he's in the black manosphere, he's going to get calls from people that I'm not going to get and vice versa, I should say. So it's not just it's not a race thing. It's just you know, those are our spheres. That's where we run. Mike Rashid is not going to call Rolo Tomasi, but Myron Gaines is going to go on his show and pretty much talk about the same thing I would have talked about anyway. So that's fine. Uh, then, you know, Myron Fresh are going to get the call to go on Flagrant. They're going to get the call to go on t uh, Tim Pool. I think we're still waiting on that Rogan phone call. That'll be the day, man, when Red Pill Rolo Tony goes on Joe Rogan. Then we'll know it's all is truly lost. Tony Joe? Um, and so there's places that, I'm, like for instance, I went on Patrick Bed David. I went on Adam Sosnick, and so did Myron and Fresh, right? We weren't there together, but we were there, you know, individually. And I'm always happy to cross-pollinate. I'm always happy to say, hey, here's a, here's a network. Here's a guy. Talk to this dude. I brought Adam Sosnick into the studio. I don't. On the Tuesday, I did the, the Patrick Bed David show just because it happened to be convenient, and he lives in Brickle. Not Brick Hill, Brick Hill. Um, and, and it worked out, and, and they hit it off, and as I knew they would. And then they a week later, they went on Adam's show, and that was fantastic. I thought it was a really great show. In fact, I thought it was one of the best interviews. Oh, you're so boring. <laughs> I know how collaborations things. work. Yeah, there's some... Uh... He's like, listen, sometimes I go on other people's show, and sometimes they come on my show. And we, cro we cross we cross collaborate. And sometimes I go on the show, and it's good. And sometimes I go on the show... And it's pretty good. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's really, really good. Yeah. Sometimes they come on my show, and that's good too. I go, it good. <laughs> we get it, bro. Tighten it up a little bit. There, there's, 
the doc has uh, some timestamps oh, if okay, you want to. Okay, uh, I thought it was just one thing. No, 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 no. Okay, they, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. He calls me a fat, obnoxious piece of shit. I love it. <laughs> it's my favorite, bro. Yeah. Rolo Tony Brown Town. Yeah, okay. Working the on the right? back. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Dude, I look big in that photo. What is happening with my body, dude? <laughs> Built like a donut roll. That's the shirt is doing something weird. Why it looks so top heavy? Money even. Looks like I got some. I think some you're pumping D's. out your chest. I, I look you... like I got some D's though. <laughs> <laughs> Looking like meatloaf in Fight Club. <laughs> It. Yeah, totally. Rip to the goat, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot that was meatloaf. Damn. Yeah. Now, I get it. I get his brand, right? I get why he's doing what he's doing. He's just sort of this fat, obnoxious, you know, piece of shit that, yeah, I, I don't know. A lot of these guys, there's a lot of dudes. I get it, bro. You know that vertical, the fat, obnoxious <laughs> piece of shit vertical? I've seen it a million times. Yeah. I got him pegged. Fat, obnoxious pieces of shit are, are Sounds very like a really successful and... formula. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Is that, is that Jordan Peterson on his desk? Right yes, it is. We that good, baby. We got busts of Peterson. So here's your hero now. Do you own his bust? <laughs> I bust on that bust. I love him so much. Can you say the same? Full tributes. <laughs> Please, no. I should do that and send him a picture. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> There's a lot of dudes that sort of fumble into their their niche, and uh, I get the feeling that that's where that's where Ethan is at now. Fumbled hmm. into my niche? What does that mean, bro? I've been doing this for over ten years. Indeed, and you're decent at it. You know. Well, thank you. You know, it's a work in progress, still. Mm. Uh, I think so. Uh, what did you say? Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me back up a little bit because Infamous Rifle asked me. He said, isn't he the dude that said he was like in better shape than, than a... Yeah, that's exactly what I said, you brain rot. Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, I can, I can guarantee you this. If I had a pose, to, if I, at 53... Here we go. Fat man bad. Middle it fucking old ass red pillar good. Oh, Here's yeah. all that opposed down with Ethan. I can guarantee you, I am in better shape than you are. Good for. I mean, great. Probably nobody said yeah, otherwise. Probably, yeah, probably. <laughs> I have no. I have no problem conceding that, and I never did. Oh, that Color gets too. my dick strong color. man good, fat man bad. Are Ethan? <laughs> um, but who the fuck am I to this guy? Like, where the fuck did this come from? I you're nobody. That's the point. I do not know why you entered this conversation. <laughs> But when people talk about me, I watch. You know me. I'm petty as fuck. Yeah. I always take the bait. Petty King. Always. Petty King. <laughs> Klein. No idea who this dude even was until then. Now, here's the other thing. Oh, wait. Should I go to another timestamp? What are you afraid of? Ian? He called out Ian? He calls you right. Ian. He calls out Ian. <laughs> what? Or he calls me Ian. Yes, he calls okay. you Ian. What are you afraid of, Ian? I'll be happy to, yeah, to, Ian. to debate you. I, I, won't, I won't bite. Right? Like what? What? So, if it, whether it's fresh or it's not, you know. Here's. I love that the conclusion is that I'm afraid to debate him, and that nobody cares. Nobody cares I want man. people to watch my show and be interested. I'm having on today as a guest, Joe the hot dog salesman, <laughs> aka someone nobody's ever heard of to debate me. Probably Joe the hot dog salesman got more interesting stories than. Rolo Tony. Here's the reason. I, I want to explain to you why this dude is. I, you know, actually, before I do that, I have to show you this. This is really good now. I'm going to put this on there real fast just so people know what the... Here's, here's your frame of reference in all of this. Now, this was from the... So, they've been sending our DMs to Rolo Tony, apparently. This is... Yeah. H3 podcast. Or this right, is which fun. is, this again, is a, a little... this whole, like, theater about not knowing who you are. Like, And he's like, I, I think I saw him... Making fun of Michaela Peterson. That's what started this whole thing. We were talking about the Fresh and Fit podcast that she was on, and you made fun of it. It's he's fully aware of all of these. I don't. I don't. There's no reason to pretend like you're you're just learning about this in real time. 
You have the conversation. Like I you, guess it's just to make me seem irrelevant or something. Even though he's de he's begging to come on the show. Dude, this guy is Hila donated. She said, Rolo needs to roll on out of here pronto. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Fucking good. By the way, did he really post a video simping for the Twinder, the Tinder swindler? Tinder swindler is swindling women. Hell, uh, I, I mean, I'd have to watch it to know. I do know that he's selling Red Pill Lion NFTs and is getting huge traction on that. <laughs> Thirteen huge thousand traction. views. Yeah. So. Yeah, dude. But he, I mean, do you want to know why I don't want to debate you? I want to talk to Fresh and Fit. That's the interesting conversation. Okay. I don't want to talk to random red pillars. I don't. I don't care if you're the godfather of the red pill, the god, the god of red pill. I don't care if you are, you know, like kind of good at guitar. It really just doesn't <laughs> interest me. I don't care if you've made out with a thousand girls, bro. Eh. <laughs> just don't care. Don't care. Is Rolo married? Hell, dude, I don't know. Look it up, but I guarantee you he's alone. He is forever alone. That's what the red pill says. Uh, Fuck bitches, die alone. That's their mantra. I mean, maybe, maybe not. That man is single as the day is long. Beta. He looks like he is married don't. and has a daughter. How can you be red pill and have a daughter and married? Okay, well, I stand corrected. I thought their mantra was "fuck bitches, die, die by yourself." Uh, <laughs> I don't think that that's their mantra. Really? Fuck bitches, die by yourself. Yeah, fuck bitches, I, die alone. I'm, I'm not because I know they ain't maybe. building healthy relationships with that red pill. Yeah. So he's married and has daughters. According to a random Google search, I, I could okay. be wrong. Okay, good for you, Rollo. You red pilled your way into a family. There you go. He said, you don't marry a woman, you marry all the men. What, what the fuck does this mean? He literally tweeted this out. You don't marry a woman, you marry all the men she had before it was your turn to be the one. You loser. You really are so insecure and pathetic. Wait, that's a New York Times article, though. Well, but he tweeted caption. it with that caption. I see. Mm -hmm. Dude, how insecure can you be? You can't handle that your girl had sex with other dudes because you know you're so pathetic and small compared to them. God forbid she had other lovers in her life. Even though your whole life is built around just trying to have sex with women as objects. Pathetic. Maria. Just have some confidence, man. You, you, the women, the men that she slept with before you have no relevance on your relationship. I mean, other than, you know, the, the formations maybe affected her, her personality and stuff, the experience she's been through. But this is like such a pathetic ISIS style take, puritanical. This is the most beta take. You don't marry a woman. You marry all the men she had before. What do you mean? You sucking their dicks? You bringing them in and doing a bukkake? What are you doing, bro? You're marrying all the men she had before it was your turn? Are you into that? What are you talking about? It's like you're in the corner jerking off and they're all jizzing all over your girl? No, dude. She's allowed to have sex and be sexually free, just like you. Yeah, that's why at the root of all red pills, it's, it's, it's women hating. It's deep insecurity and it's women hating. Because they don't get to be independent, but you do. They don't get to live fulfilled lives, but you do. They don't get to have sexual partners without being judged, but you do. Why? Here's, oh, he expanded. This is exactly what I mean when I talk about women being alpha widows. <laughs> it also confirmation of why women with higher end count, damn, this guy's like, I don't even know, I don't even know what the fuck, he's using lingo that's like high level, Die alone shit. Uh, it's also confirmation of why women with higher end counts statistically have more difficulty in developing strong emotional attachments for their long-term mates and experience higher rates of divorce. What? Of course, this guy has daughters, by the way. That's like the perfect God's curse on him for being who he is. This is what happens when a woman's rationalization hamster gets a column in the New York Times. Can you just speak English, bro? 
He has like the pseudoscience talk that makes him seem like what he's talking about isn't just pure women hating trash. Rolo Tony Brown Town, get yourself right at the door. You beta. Don't you want an experienced woman who's like been around, experienced things, and when she meets you and she falls in love with you and she chooses you, then you know it's real. You want a woman who's never experiencing anything? Like what kind of weird, pathetic, insecure beta shit is that? Beta! This guy's just sad. Anyway, let's listen. I have in the doc uh, him talking about coconuts and Barbados. Should I skip forward? I want to see him read this conversation. Ah, who cares? We already looked at these. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't. Uh, let me watch it. A little bit of correspondence. Since they already posted this, by the way, I didn't post this. This was already on their, their podcast. The most recent podcast of H3, they put this up there. So I'm not selling anybody out. They've already done this, it's already been put out. Okay. How do we know? How do we even know he won't bring someone else on, else on like Crowder? You're really that worried about Stephen Crowder? Uh, that was what your dude said. That's what his dude said. He's goofing on his own homie right now. Yeah, I thought I misunderstood that. I don't. Dude, you're so stupid. You're making fun of your friend. He's the one that told us that. Crowder, we don't. I don't even know. I don't have any contact with Stephen Crowder. He doesn't even know my. Man, you're pretty dumb. <laughs> like the DM was sent by your friend and he's the one that was being a little baby about it how he he said how do I know you won't bring someone like you did with Crowder and I love how his homie's like wow this guy's a bitch I was like yeah I agree <laughs> it's awesome these guys are dumb dude they're just stupid bro it's awesome the chat said he accidentally left friendly fire on <laughs> right exactly <laughs> Yo, I might be fat, but I'm not this dumb. <laughs> Kim starts watching right now. What do you mean, Kim? Kim? He tweeted uh, something. Wait, about... he is. Yeah. Kim stars always. Wait, what does this meme mean? He's saying that you six... look old, but I don't think he realizes that. Oh, he can't. Well, dude, he like edited this photo. By the yeah. way, he made me look all ghoulish. He's watching us right now, making memes. Kim star. You're my biggest fan, just admit it. You can start, take off the hat, dude. Stop coloring your beard. Stop coloring your beard. Also, that has like beauty filter on. Look how polished his pores are. I don't care though. Why are you so cute when you talk well, shit? Why did, <laughs> why did you make me, I don't look like that. Why did you do that? Seems a bit insecure. He's very insecure. I mean, he's like you said, seven days from 40, he's lashing out. I look young and beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> take the hat off. Stop dyeing the beard. Don't beauty filter. I don't care, though, what, how old I look like. I don't, because I have a family. I'm married. You know, I'm not looking to pick up the 18-year-olds on Tinder. It's fine. If you have insecurity about how you look, why do you need to compare yourself to me? It's between you and the 17-year-old who's turning 18 in two days that you got your eye on. You got to look younger for them, not me, bro. That being said, <laughs> you have the hairline of a god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, now that guy don't look that young on the right there. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that, that's updated. That's updated. Well, hold on, but you got you to gotta edit his skin to make look he just came out of a tomb or some shit. Chat is saying this is bully bait. He's trying to bait us. You think he's bully baiting me? You are bullying me. He bullied me. He called me old. You saw that. All right, let's get off. Everyone stuff. saw that. AB did that. <laughs> now he's comparing me to Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do to my skin? That's so crazy. Like editing. A sharpening filter. It looks like. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I look fine. I'll be honest. Even with that crazy ass filter, I'm happy with the way I look, Kim Star. It's okay. Ethan, uh, Kimster always uses that angle too, from the side like that. <laughs> yeah, like the specific angle that he knows he yeah. looks good. <laughs> <The pretty laughs> true. Dude, you're obviously so insecure about your A's. Just do, you do with your shit. I don't care. At least he's getting out from the bathroom pics. I mean, that, that's a step that's forward. True. He's out of the bathroom? Yeah. That's, that's progress forward. for a 40-year-old. 
<laughs> Maybe he's trying to get ahead of the fact that he's f about to turn 40, and he thinks... I think you're right. Yeah, if he's trying to meme it now. I might be turning... I might be 40 and still making drama videos, but uh, at least I don't look as bad as this guy. Right. Okay. Yeah, if you Google Keemstar, you, you get a lot of pictures from the side, like, just like that. It's very funny. Oh, that's real interesting. He's always hitting from the same angle. Yep. Can you put an album that I can click through? <laughs> He's like that girl. You've seen those videos where the girls on Instagram take like the same exact picture, and they just there's like a slideshow where their face like doesn't move, but the <laughs> right. setting changes. That's him. He he has a good side. I can't get over this picture, man. He really being flirty in it. He really flirty in this. You know. Bum. That's awesome, dude. Well, shout Stupid out Keemstar. Stupid bitch. <laughs> shout out Keemstar. Happy birthday, by the way. Hap and happy yeah. soon to be 40th. Yeah. To another 20 years of reporting on Dixie D'Amelio. Mm hmm. Not that I do anything different, but mm. is do I do so, is what we do different? Absolutely, it is good because you're not like losing your shit like Dixie D'Amelio. Dixie D'Amelio is dating Noah Becker. Actually, oh, Keem hit me with that. Uh, I don't know your name. I mean, I'm definitely less relevant than you. But no, but he knows who you are. He, know, he definitely knows who I am. But he finally said my name. He's like, Star. First, he said my name like three times. And he's like, or Starfuck, whatever the fuck his name is. Yeah, he knows Starfuck. who you are. My boy. All right, let's back, go back to Rolo Tom. What do you think? Yo, dude, he's like covered in ice. That's crazy. Does he have AC or what in his room? <laughs> that one. This is a totally unedited photo. <laughs> crazy, <laughs> dude. You look old as hell in that. You're like Santa Claus. All right, let's watch Tilt Rolo Tony. Keep the memes coming, Kim. Star, they're great. Entertaining. <laughs> My name, man. <laughs> HD Podcast, Fresh and Fit, how do you know we won't bring someone like Crowder on with Crowder? Um, who he read it twice. Remember, his friend said that. It's so good. It's so good. What's he afraid of? I never promised Crowder I wouldn't uh, tell, him I'm, uh, tell him I am promising. Uh, you guys have been critical of the Red Pill and Fresh and Fit slash Rolo are the biggest creators in this space. Well, at least thank you for acknowledging that. It will uh, be a great discussion and will get a lot of views instantly. I think that was the other side of the conversation. He says, oh. no, it won't. It will get a lot of views and instantly viral. No, it won't. Okay, we'll think on it. Okay, no problem. I'll pass this on to Myron and Fresh tomorrow. Then Ethan comes out. Ethan wanted me to say that he's doing a hard pass on Rolo. Why? But why? Because nobody fucking cares. Uh, uh, so just let us know if you're up for Fresh and Fit versus Ethan and Hassan. So, so that pretty much confirms everything that they were just talking about a minute ago. And my only question is, what are you afraid of? Why? I'll be happy to. Oh, shit, I'll fly down there on my own dime. You know, of you course you will. Down. Of course you will fly down here. You want the exposure. I don't care. I'm not having. Whatever. Show me Keemstar's side shot. Keemstar, super confident. Always hitting him from that left side, baby. Always from the left side. Oh, that one's from the right side. Take that one out of there. I think it's flipped. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Always from the left side. Always looking fresh. From the left side only with a hat on. Is that his real hairline? No. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Wait, let me see that one with him with hair. Doesn't do much for him, does it? I guess it does a little bit. It does help, yeah. Yeah, it helps. Ah! And that was just the top of images on Google. There's more. Where are you at? L.A.? San Diego? I forget where he is. He said Southern California. I don't know exactly where. This guy literally invited himself on the show, and then when we said no, he's like, what are you scared of? It's okay. I'm from Southern California. I'll be happy to go down. Shit, I'll drive down there. <laughs> I'm sure you will, dude. <laughs> Catalina while I'm out there. Too. Whatever you need, man. Nothing a bike. I'll... 
whatever. I'll walk if I need to. I might take a nap. <laughs> let me know. You I'll know what? There. If you Please, walk here, show, then we can talk. Let me on your show. Yeah. It's a weekend of it. What are you afraid of? No, you know what you're afraid of is because they want fresh and fit on there because they know fresh is not like, fresh is not Rolla Tomasi. I love you, fresh. I really do. <laughs> Dude, that's just beautiful, isn't it? Because the reason they don't want me is because Fresh is fucking brain dead. <laughs> the man is incapable of holding a conversation. He said this about his own friend. And he called the other guy a pussy for being afraid of Crowder unintentionally. So he didn't respect them. I do. But Fresh is not me. And I love Fresh. You know that. I talked about coconuts and Barbados. So my, my most recent clips channel, I talked about like how Fresh talked about like owning a woman's soul. And I made a, a, a specific point to talk about that when I was on my last. Uh, OK, now he's going off of some weird red pill shit. But like I love that he calls one of them irredeemably dumb and the other one a giant wuss for being scared of Crowder. <laughs> oh, my God. Here's the real meme. Yeah. Chad Ethan versus Goofy Eyed Game. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you do that, Chad Ethan? You look like Brad Pitt, dude. Like you ran it through <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking, like four times in a row. I, I, I did more merge it with Brad Pitt, actually. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like also, my Bird. hair looks hella good, dude. He kind of looked like, um, what's his name? Off the charts and in your hearts guy. Mark this McGrath. Is... Yeah, Mark Mark McGrath. McGrath. You said you went from looking like Bob from Fight Club. Well, now you look like Tyler Durden. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Flip. Love that. Uh, there's one more. Oh, he imitates me. It's just a quick little goof. Oh no. A roll of Tony Brown Town. Check yourself right at the door. You know you kept some rollos. All right, here it goes. And that's why guys like Ethan get all bent out of shape and they try to yuck it up. The reason when you make fun of me, the reason you want to like, you know, be fucking middle school bullshit, it's because you know I'd fucking wipe the floor with you. You know I would fucking like, you know, destroy you when it comes to like any any kind of, and even Myron will probably, I don't even have to be there really, Myron will probably Fresh, wipe the floor the with hand. you. Yeah, fre coconuts and Barbados, let's yeah, not include him. Yeah, no. Picking coconuts and Barbados. <laughs> I mean, part of the reason I even wanted to have those guys on is because I wanted to talk to Coconut and Barbados. Right. Because I found it so interesting that that guy was had a podcast. You know? But the fact is that you still want Fresh on there because the odds are the Fresh is going to say, own your soul, and that's going to be the clip that you throw out. <laughs> own your soul? I don't even know what you're saying, dude. Oh, Apparently he, he said something dumb. Yeah, but we don't want, want that. Them. We want the coconuts and Barbados. Yeah, I don't care about owning yeah. your soul. I know you guys are weirdos about women. That's not a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's the new marketing plan. Somebody watches. <laughs> you know, you want to know why shorts are more pop. You know, if you go and you this look at my such shorts, a explanation. My shorts, you want to go and look at like uh, Rich Cooper shorts are great, man. You go and look at his short clip. Is he just off? He's just off now. He's just off. Yeah. yeah. He's talking about how people want to watch his shorts, and that's what you want out of uh, Coconuts and Barbados. Can you look short. up some Rolo Tony quotes? I bet he got some real psycho shit yeah. out there. Let's find some bangers. Let me find like his, his great moments. We've been going for a while. We're going to do a segment of our biggest fears. Yeah. But we've but probably already been going two hours, eh? Oh, well over. Uh, two and a half. Yeah, we could save that for another time. I, I knew this, this episode was stacked. I knew it wouldn't Yeah, this says everything. Rolo Tony creeps her out. Yeah, he's... Me too, sweetheart. Me too. What the fuck? Apparently, P uh, Kanye West buries Pete Davidson in new music video. I'll bet he does. That's just a little bit much, don't you think? Pull up this Steph Noodles post that he just posted an hour ago about it. Uh, Well, if it's a music video, we won't. We'll get claimed if we... No, I just want to see... We can mute it. Okay. It says, Women will cry a river about wanting Mr. Dependable and then go off to fuck Mr. Exciting. Maybe you just... Well, there's a lot to unpack there, dude. But I would say the problem probably lies with you. 
you cannot blame the world for ex if you blame the world for everything you'll never change and you'll just be a shitty person sorry Rollo somehow you become 52 years old and still haven't learned anything about life bro this is getting crazy Kanye West is this like I'm not sure that you can threaten to kill someone even in a music video I mean, morally, no, but, uh... Let's not show this. Get it, get it out of here. That's weird. I don't like him. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that on the show before. You know, there's, like, rap beefs, like, you know, Biggie and Tupac. They go Tupac. at each other. Tupac, Shakar. Tupac? Tupac, Shakar. But in this case, Pete's just minding his business. And Kanye's saying, I'm gonna kill you. That can't be, that, 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 it's a bit much. Everyone lived happily ever after except Skeet. You know who. Yeah, I think they need a restraining order. In fact, I don't even think this video should be allowed online. He, we need to start treating Kanye like Russia. We need like an embargo on this guy. <laughs> He's dangerous. <laughs> I mean, we need to freeze his assets. Anything he does within the realm of a music video is, you know, it's art. It's free speech. He, I don't think he's can actually get in trouble. I don't think so. Way. If you're threatening to kill someone, I don't think I think there's a pretty. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it either. But I, I don't. Doesn't this think guy do any... Sunday service every Sunday, and then he's going and threatening to kill people? I just don't... yeah, he's a giant hypocrite, of course. Jesus said, "I hate Pete Davidson. Let's bury him." <laughs> Okay, well, uh, I guess we just got to talk about this stuff on Friday. There's lots of other good stuff here. Yeah, let's save it. I've been going for Biggest a while. Biggest fears, yeah. I do want to talk about that. Ukraine stuff, there's some good stuff here. Oh, low and Burbert. <laughs> Burbert, Bobert. <laughs> low, uh, low, Burbert. Ryan Kavanaugh video? Oh, I do want to watch this, yeah. always. What's this? That's Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> no, neither. No. Okay. Oh, this is the girl. This is a fan submitted video. This is the fan. This girl's been running ads on our channel, right? Yes. That's apparently. so crazy, dude. <laughs> Yo, this girl has been running ads on our channel promoting her, her Ryan or Harvey video. So I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. It's 420. Excellent. A David Dobrik. David Dobrik inspired. Yeah. So here we go. Let's do it. Her name is um, uh, Love. K. Ray. The public is confused. Does Ryan look like Harvey Weinstein? This is a parody view inspired by Kevin vs. Ethan Klein. All right, so here you go. Love K. Ray. Nobody's ever run ads on our channel trying to promote a clip, so she <laughs> kind of transcended. I think Crowder did, but not for her. Crowder was running ads on our channel? I believe so, wasn't he? What a troll yeah. paying me. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> what, was, what ads was he running? Just to promote his channel? Just his videos. Yeah. That was after it's we uh, we got him. Really? Mm -hmm. What a weird thing to do. Like, our audience isn't going to go watch him, first of all. You don't even have to think about and it, Second of all, why is he paying me money? I think as far as the ego. He's like, oh, I didn't get got. I'm getting them. I'm putting ads on their video, realizing that he's just not realizing that he's just wasting money. I'm totally fine with him putting ads on my video. <laughs> don't no, worry, man. I have no problem with that. I mean, I'm just happy to get paid. I'm so confused. Do you know if that's Harvey Weinstein or if that's Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> no, neither? No. Okay. They look similar though, right? It's the same. A little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. A little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. A little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. A little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They look similar though, right? She's right. Especially when you put their faces together like that. It's crazy. Got that Triller swag. That's impressive. Flip it upside down. I want one of those. After weeks of running around New York City, plastering flyers and stickers on every pull I could get my hands on, the public is still confused. Is Ryan Kavanaugh and Harvey Weinstein the same person? Dude, that, I actually, that is really compelling. Seeing their faces together <laughs> like that. Side by side. There it's the same person. It's crazy. Do they just look strangely similar? 
They are indeed different people. Do you know if that's Harvey Weinstein or if that's Harvey Weinstein? Um, may I ask what organization you're with? <laughs> it's, an or it's for a project. I have to print something at Michael's. Oh, okay. No, she's with uh, Does Ryan Kavanaugh Look Like Harvey Weinstein.com. <laughs> That's a fair question. Why are you asking me this? Do you know which one's which? Yeah, the dude on the right. The right to Harvey Weinstein. Okay. Don't yeah. they look kind of similar? Or not? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Do you think they look alike? I guess somewhat, but somewhat. it would take for him to look like him. I know, I know. Are you familiar with Ryan Kavanaugh? <laughs> no. He's been arrested for multiple DUIs and still driving. Just a lot of all <laughs> Yeah. I love this video. <laughs> she's so funny. This is so freaking good. God. Well, she's educating the public. It's important. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's both of them, right? Yeah. All right, so kind of. A little. <laughs> from the eyes up. Eyes up. Yeah. That's what we I'm hear, so the confused. eyes. Do you know if that's Harvey Weinstein or if that's Harvey Weinstein? That's that her. one's hard. Doesn't it kind of look similar? A little bit. A little but bit. That, that's but that's Harvey Weinstein. Okay, thank you. It's bad news, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, right? Do you think they look like Family? Uh, no, they're not family. Usually things run in a circle. Yeah, right? Exactly. We've seen a lot of pictures together. So confused. I'm trying to figure out, is that Harvey Weinstein or if this is Harvey Weinstein? That one's Harvey Weinstein. They kind of look alike, though, a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know which one. <laughs> you familiar with either? Yes, no. Both? I gotta say, it takes balls to go up to his people and ask about Harvey Weinstein. Yeah, no, seriously, I commend her on that. I was That's thinking the same thing. That's not easy. It's not like a normal prank. You're talking about Harvey Weinstein here. <laughs> you know what? She's doing the Lord's work. We appreciate her. Definitely. Okay, you both. I was wondering if you think they look similar or not at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm comparing Do you catch the... that this guy knows who Ryan Kavanaugh is? It, th this one that she's talking to right now. Wait, for real? Yeah. Hey, let me go back. <laughs> familiar with either. Yes, both. How does he know Ryan Kavkov? Well, he, he just, he must be there in the There you go, Ryan's a public figure. Okay, you both. I was wondering if you think they look similar or not at all. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm comparing the their background and facial similarities have anything to do with... Um, corruptness? Yeah, corruptness, exactly, <laughs> right? Probably the beard, but... The beard. He said it, corruptness. Yeah. He's are you a fan of either? No, really. no neither. Really neither. Medium upper lip. Medium don't, upper lip. Don't. Oh, that's a good analysis. <laughs> that's interesting. Medium upper lip. <laughs> people with no upper lip. <laughs> Questionable with this. Yeah, the smile. It's like, why are you grinning so much, you know? Yeah, right? The eyes are so The nice. eyes, right? Thank you. And, and here's a sticker of a oh comparison just for helping me out with that. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? That dude rocks. I'm so confused. Do you know if that's Harvey Weinstein or if that's Harvey Weinstein? That's Harvey Weinstein. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. I want to know if they're right. Do you know if that's Harvey Weinstein or if that's Harvey Weinstein? That, that one. Okay, yeah, they kind of look alike. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, thank you. Do you know if that's Harvey Weinstein or if that's Harvey Weinstein? I have no clue. No, no, they kind of look alike though, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you. I'm so confused. They do. do you know if that's Harvey Weinstein or if that's Harvey Weinstein? Can you tell the difference? Yeah, of course. You do? You know? Yeah. Do you know the other one? No. No? But you know which one's which. <laughs> right. I was wondering if you know who either of these people are. And who this producer Yeah. He's in jail now. Yeah, yeah, he's in jail now. Do you think that they look similar? Not really. Not really. Okay. I don't know. If, uh, I, I was going to say Supreme Court judge. Ex-billionaire. He used to um, run Relativity <laughs> Media. He was also like accused of his ex-partner of running a Ponzi scheme. It doesn't look a lot. Later retracted. Retracted. Yeah, retracted. <laughs> Should be clear. Like though, so. not a little. No. No. Okay. I'm just informing the people that these are two different people. Do you, Do you know who either of them are? Mm. Harvey Weinstein, Ryan Kavanaugh. But do they look similar or not really? No. Not no, not at all. Good. Good. So you know that they're different people. Yeah. Thank you. He's I'm good. just letting people yeah. know that these are two different people. Uh huh. Do they look similar or not really? A little similar. Yeah. The Harvey Weinstein, Ryan yeah. Kavanaugh, they look kind of similar. This is the strangest interaction these people are going to have all year. They're going to remember her <laughs> and think back on what the fuck was that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so I'm just taking note from the public if they look mm -hmm. similar or not. So, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. After a long, hard day of research, the public is still split. Until next... Yeah, she's right. I mean, that is actually good uh, market research because... Some were confused, some were not, but I do think it showed above all that there is confusion out there. So shout out to Love K. Ray.
who has been running ads on our channel, which I have to applaud. That is a, it's an alpha move right there. Yep, definitely alpha. Really meaning to watch that one there. Fantastic. Fantastico. All right. Well, good times, good times. We're going to have good times, good times. I know we're going to have good times. We're going to have good times. What you eating? I'm hungry. A Danish with some cheese Danish. You want one? Really? Are you all eating Danish? Yeah, you want yeah. Danish? Forget about it. You want one? Welcome Where to the Choose Zone, Cook baby. We'll put it in the timestamps in, uh, in the episode. This will be the Choose Zone section. What is, what's the story with the, Chris, with the Danishes? Um, Mama Mantha brought them in. Mantha. Mantha brought them in. Samantha? Yeah. Call her Mama Mantha around here. Mama Mantha. But did she buy it or did I buy it? Okay. You got so thank you to me. Mmm. A little stale on the edges, but pretty good. It's that Ralph shit. Oh, a napkin? Wow. I'm unworthy. Service with a smile. You guys like Danishes? I'm, I'm gonna do them. I don't eat them often enough, though. I never like think to go for a Danish, but if they're around, I'm like, oh yeah, I like these. Yep, uh, that, that's how I feel. What's your favorite pastry? Hmm, chocolate chip Danish. Good nephew. Chocolate chip Danish? Yeah. Shit's you know so what I love good. lately is the almond croissants. Oh yeah, those are Danish. With the mm. almond filling. Oh wow. yeah. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah. We've lately been uh, having these, um, like, it's like a, from a Chinese uh, bakery make these like sweet rolls. I don't know what they're called. I just like see them, but they come like individually wrapped. Hmm. I look it up. I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, Mark Instagram is? For real? Is he live tweeting the show? He said that, sorry. I don't know if you want. Who's showing it on this? Yeah, bro. Bro, you're such a fan, bro. Here, they look like this. They're like these Member big... for 24 months. <laughs> I've never seen that before. These big sweet rolls, and then they're always, they have filling in them. Um, there's sometimes like savory fillings, but then sometimes it's like fruit or various other things are really good. Mm. Now, another YouTuber DM'd me the pic and told me what he did. I don't watch his lame show. Yeah, right, bro. Okay. Member for 30 months, dude. I mean, he's a, he's a tier three sub. We've literally seen screenshots or in videos where he like accidentally showed that the podcast was on the TV in the background. Mm -hmm. So he literally we, has we a group receipts, chat dude. that's like label something like bring down H3 or something. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the real reason he hates him, me, I'll be honest. I never admit it, but I Jewish. think he really just wants to be my friend. Oh, I thought like you're... genuinely oh. not jealous. Oh. I mean, no, I, I thought it because you're Jewish is what you were going to say. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I think he really just likes me and wants to be my friend. And he's so hurt that I don't like him. That's definitely a situation with a lot of these guys. For sure. It's like a Romeo and Juliet. Ha ha. You, he's showing it on his show now, your mm -hmm. tweet. What a moron. They claim the picture was doctored. He's so mad. He's like, my skin isn't that bad. They claimed the pick was doctored, so they tried to do it on your pick to prove you can make anyone ugly. In real time, they applied the sharpening, and it did nothing to your skin. So he just dunked on himself even harder. What a moron. This is great. Keep it coming, guys. Just a reminder of how the photo looked. This is definitely altered. I don't care, man. It's just funny. I love these kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, what the? Who are you kidding? Unless, did I miss a part oh, where, like, natural? Yeah. <laughs> where you rub dirt all over and aged a few years? <laughs> just like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't care. I mean, my hair uh, looks good though, eh? 
That hair looks hella good. <laughs> Doesn't it? Well, except again, it's like deep fried, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you deep you fried me, bro. <laughs> Oh, he says I helped in my photo. Oh, look at that. Here, Ian just put it side by side. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, that looks... Yeah, that's not edited. <laughs> Bro, you got, like, fucking Yoda's forehead. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, green. <laughs> <laughs> fucking... I fucked up! You're fucking John. He says it's altered. Can you believe this guy? He dumped on himself. What a moron. <laughs> so, Keemstar is actually watching now. He tweets him. Oh, he is? Yeah. Should he call in? You no, should him. we should go home. We've been going almost three hours. Oh shit, dude, new drama alert dropped. Putin is canceled, you guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> Breaking news on drama alert. No. <laughs> Putin is canceled, you guys. This no way. Beyond parody, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. Hashtag drama alert. <laughs> Wait, you said it. Oh, I thought he was still tweeting about it. Yeah, he is. He replied to himself. Oh, he Scroll replied down. to himself? Let's see. Keemstar not got this much attention and... Keemstar has not got this much attention since, uh... Since the firehouse. <laughs> There's so many ways I could go with that, <laughs> yeah. and they're all bad. Yeah. They're all bad. Happy birthday, Keem. Okay, but now I was curious, so I did click, and his shell, and the dude is stuffing his face with cookies. Oh, it's a Danish. It's a Danish, and it's the only time I've ate. <laughs> By the way, look at the photo you took. Does it look like the one that you posted? You dumb fuck. <laughs> it looks a little different. I, I look pretty normal there. Bro, you literally eat maple syrup out of a plate with a fork, so, like... Where's your daddy? Come on now. Who eats maple syrup with a fork, you fucking animal? <laughs> <laughs> you... <laughs> yeah. It tastes like beef jerky. By the way, look at my skin here, okay? Right? Look at my skin here. He says it's edited. <laughs> he just dumped on himself. <laughs> what an idiot. Dude, you're almost 40. Come on, man. Get your shit together. <laughs> <laughs> Seven days away from 40. Putin is canceled, everybody. Hey, did you hear what Putin did? He's canceled. Drama alert. Hey, you hear what's going on in Ukraine? It's crazy. Putin is like a bad guy. He's canceled. Anyway. Keem Star. Irredeemable degenerate. Oh yeah, this is so good. Breaking Putin orders Russian invasion of Eastern Ukraine. Hashtag drama alert. <laughs> drama? Yo, did you guys hear the drama? Putin's attacking Ukraine. Roll it. In other news, Dixie D'Amelio is dating Noah Beck. The drama's roll, roll, crazy roll, roll, today. Roll, roll, roll it. <laughs> oh. Anyway, fun. Fun times. We're having too much fun here on the H3 Podcast, are we not, folks? He's canceled. <laughs> I love his thumbnails now. Look at this shit. Watch this. Look at this. Liar. Predator. Why is he calling Aiden Ross a predator? I thought they were homies. Not after that stream. That's Melt. another thing <laughs> we can't stop saying around the office, especially Zach. Yo, I heard you're in trouble. I heard you're in trouble. That, that crypto, crypto shit. That crypto, crypto shit. shit. So good. That crypto shit. <laughs> this is just horrible clickbait. Look, it got Jeffrey Star wants to box Logan Paul. It's like obviously not. That's bad clickbait, bro. Learn. Forty years on this earth, and you still don't have a clickbait. Yo, we're can't. Russia is canceled. Wait, that's the title. No. I was joking, it's actually called Russia's Cancelled. <laughs> you guys, he titled his show Russia's Cancelled. No. <laughs> I had spelled it two different ways too in the title and the thumbnail. Wait, what? It's spelled it, differently. It says cancelled with one L on the thumbnail. Oh what the fuck? <laughs> 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 what else? 
fucking idiot, dude. Uh, hey, come on. But I'm the number one supporter of cancel culture. Right? That's undeniable. All right, well, let's wrap it up here. Just having too much fun with Keemstar. The court gesture. Well, the court je gesture is actually known for being wise. Bruh, you deadass watching his live stream, someone said. And he liked it. Someone said Keem took the extra L and canceled. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good one. Uh, all right, Keemstar's like, all right, listen, I got to go. My girlfriend's finishing high school. <laughs> I got to pick her up. We got a date at Chuck E. Cheese. She loves the pizza. She plays in the balls. She plays in the ball pit. I sit and watch. I'm too old for the ball pit, but she loves it. <laughs> it's crazy. They serve alcohol at Chuck E. Cheese. Can you believe it? She eats the cheese pizza. I have a beer. You should see my girl play ski ball. What is it called? Ski ball? <laughs> it's just ski ball, yeah. You should see my girl play ski ball. She's nuts. <laughs> I, I won her like 20 erasers from Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> it was such a good night. She's not old enough to drink. That's why we like going to Chuck E. Cheese. I can drink, and she plays in the ball pit. You should see my girlfriend run around the jungle gym in Chuck E. Cheese. She's super fast. <laughs> my girl loves the animatronic show at Chuck E. Cheese. I'd like to take her there on Friday night. It's our favorite date night. Hey, I gotta go. My girlfriend's finishing school. I promised her I'd take her to Dave and Buster's. Oh, wait, she's not old enough. I guess we'll go to Chuck E. Cheese. 20, Dave and Buster's 21 up, right? I think so. We should go there. We were talking about it. I want to go to Dave and Buster's, and I want to go to the... What the fuck you call that place in L.A.? Saddle Ranch. Saddle Ranch. Sweeney Lynn. Oh. Sweeney Land? <laughs> what is that? It's another meme around the office. What's Sweeney Land? You know the girl from Euphoria, Sydney Sweeney? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Why, does she go there? No, no. Sweeney Land is a made-up place. I forgot who originated it, but... <laughs> yeah. You magical, guys are into Sweeney? It's a magical land, I've heard. I heard it recently closed, though. It closed? She got engaged. Really? Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, I like to go to a. Uh, I take my girl to Chuck E. Cheese. Kids eat free. <laughs> I, hang on, I gotta go pick up my girl. It's Friday night. Kids eat free at the Olive Garden. I get the risotto. She gets the mac and cheese with french fries and chicken nuggets. She loves it. Dave and Buster's is 21 and over. That's awesome. We got to go there. You could go under 21 if you have a guardian who is over 25. <laughs> I, my girl, I can actually take my girl to Dave and Buster's now. I can act as her guardian. Hey, am I still her guardian if I'm having sex with her? I got to check with the I got to check with the door. Am I still a guardian if I'm having sex with her? Oh, okay. They says that's okay. <laughs> hey, it's Woody Allen night at Dave and Buster's. I gotta pick up my girl and get right over. That's when you got when you when you guardian for for your partner, and then you bring him up and have sex with him. That's Woody Allen night at Dave and Buster's. <laughs> hey, did I mention that Ethan looks old? 
Ethan looks very old. Anyway, I gotta go pick up my, my girlfriend. School is finishing early today. And we're gonna go play mini golf. It's her favorite activity. I'm gonna get drunk and hit balls onto the freeway. She thinks it's super cool. <laughs> All right. Well, we've had enough fun, huh? Hey, I gotta pick up my. Hey, Ethan looks super <laughs> no. old. Oh Ethan looks so old. Hey, I gotta go pick up my girl. And School off. finishing early on Friday. We're gonna go mini biking in my backyard. <laughs> Oh my God. And guess what? We don't check IDs at my bar. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody donated two dollars and said, uh, "Ethan, go play Elden Ring." Nah. <laughs> Woody Allen night. That was funny. <laughs> hey. It's R. Kelly night at my house. That means we go to my basement bar, and I leave by myself. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's just throwing up the thanks for watching. <laughs> hey. Th throw it back up, Ian. Did you notice how old Ethan looks? Anyway, I got to go pick up my daughter and my girlfriend at the same time. They're in the same class together. <laughs> oh, sorry, girlfriend. <sighs> the guardians can't be. I can't sleep with the guardians. <laughs> so you're going to have to not come on this date with us. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> See you on Friday. <laughs> See you on Friday.